Emilio, the Honey Badger, Urutia! Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Honey Badger Hour. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Honey Badger Hour, episode 50. It's your boy, the Badger, and we're back, and today we're joined by a very special guest, a real legend of the 305, a man who wears many hats. He's the BKFC, former number one contender. Yeah. It's a lot. All right, here we go. <laughs> professional boxing. Yes, sir. Professional mixed martial artist. Yes. Podcaster now, yes, right? Sir. Pro- professional podcaster? How do we say it? professional? Uh, I'll take it. Professional podcaster. How many episodes? 95. You got more episodes than you got fights, dog. Yeah, professional yeah, podcaster sure. and most importantly, or one of the most important, dog, the world record holder of the fastest knockout, not only in bare knuckle history, in combat fighting yes, history. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yuli, the monster, Diaz. Yeah, great What's to be here happening, with you, dog? dog? I'm glad we made it happen, bro. <laughs> Yo, I've wanted you have. We've been talking already yeah, for a minute since yeah. you got here, yeah, dog. Yeah, absolutely. I really appreciate you coming out to Kendall, bro. Don't you, man? It's an honor to be here with you, dog. I've I've looked at your career too. I, you know, yeah, it's 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 amazing to be here with you, dog. My dog. I remember I saw you at Amy's Jiu Jitsu tournament. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you, bro, I remember you were already thinking what I wanted to say. You were like, "Yo, if you ever want me on the podcast," and in my head I was like, "Dog, of hey, course hey, I want yeah, you on the yeah, podcast." That's awesome, yeah, <laughs> no, I've been watching, dog. I've been watching. You had um. Uh, what's his name? Danny. Danny, you here not yes, like a week dog. ago, right? I had yeah, Danny yeah. Chavez, the Danny Chavez, warrior. Danny Chavez. Yeah, he's awesome, bro. He's awesome. Yeah, dog. And then I had a uh, Chris Celio, the one before for the blind oh, nice, comedian. Nice, 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 dog. That's before the studio was. He's really, a blind comedian. He's a blind comedian, oh, dog, shit. and he's a killer. He's hilarious, bro. Dog, I saw this blind freestyle artist. What the hell was his name? Blind Fury. He used to come out like a 106 in Park. I found it the other day on YouTube, dog. You gotta check him out. We can <laughs> put him together, dog. <laughs> yeah. Because this kid's hilarious, dog. Yeah. So that was our... But yo, he was, you know what's funny? The podcast studio wasn't ready, but he's blind, so That's it didn't matter, dog. Ah. <laughs> I just needed the one to, wall. You to him, he was in a, in a Trump Tower, dog. Yeah, yeah, dog. He was yeah. walking over the fucking That's ladders. Awesome. That's awesome. Hey, That's how it that's how goes to show you how we take shit for granted, dog. You know what I mean? There you go, brother. And it's, hey, and another reason why I wanted to have you on the podcast, dog. Somebody who never took what life threw, threw at him as a way to go. Yeah. All right. So let's get right into it, my dog. Yeah, absolutely. How did you get into martial arts, my man? Uh, okay, so let's go back to the beginning, dog. When I was a kid, um, I was always troublesome, dog. You know what I mean? I, and and, and uh, so I grew up with a single mom, dog. She was always working to try to keep a roof over our head and clothes on my back. So I had a lot of time to myself, dog, and I was a hyper kid. And uh, I used to get in a lot of fights. Uh, as I started growing, you know, getting older and going to school, I used to get in fights at school. I was never a bully, dog. I was never out there like picking on people, but I loved to try to start a fight, you know, with, with, with certain kids or something like that. And um, then when I was young, I had some family come over from Cuba. That one guy was an amateur boxer, so we started at the house playing. Um, as I grew older, I, I loved the sport. You know, I used to love watching the fights. You know, Mike Tyson, I was Mike Tyson era. You know, I'm 41, so I grew up watching Tyson and, and Evander Holyfield and I, and I loved it. Uh, so eventually I got into amateur boxing at like 19 years old. Uh, at the same time, I got into MMA and grappling. Did Back then it was uh, Naga competitions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With the Avalon brothers used to actually do. That's on the right, yeah. dog. FFA, dog. Yeah, yeah. it was like 2002 or something like that. There wasn't. That's all there was back yeah, then, exactly, dog. Exactly, Maybe Enrico yeah. was like a young buck back then. You know? I, I don't even remember him back then because cool. he was younger than me. So, so back then I don't remember him. You know, the Avalon brothers were like the big name and FFA was starting to come out. Biggest, you know, fight school in Miami at the time. And uh, I loved it, man. Like I said, I, I was I got into a ton of trouble fighting in school. I got uh, I got expelled from school. I went to Opportunity School for fighting. I went to a Juvenile Detention Center for fighting. Uh, and as a young man, I ended up going to prison for fighting on the streets. Wow. So, uh, which is, it's crazy now. Fighting pays my bills, you know, it gets me notoriety, gets me opportunities like this. But back then, obviously, I was using it, you know, in the wrong way. And... Um, so that's my background in fighting, dog. You know, it was a lot of uh, amateur boxing. I did a couple a- amateur MMA, gym to gym stuff that we used to do back then in the early 2000s. And, uh, I, but I always, I always loved it, man. I always had it in my heart. So how I got to where I'm at today is, uh, again, I was part of the street life gang, stuff like that. In 2016, I was living in Colorado. I was part of the, the, the green rush. And, um, and something had gone wrong there, and 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 honestly, I'm not a religious guy, but I am spiritual. I believe in God, cause that's I believe I'm here cause of God and my mom's prayers. You know what I mean? And that's how I came up. And uh, bro, it brought me to my knees that day, dog. And I started crying, and I was like, bro, I was just sick of this lifestyle that I was, you know, always running. I had gotten in trouble early that year that too, so I was facing some some stuff. And uh, I I told God, I, I you know, please, man, give me another chance. I don't want to do this no more. 
I flew back to Miami, left my left everything in Colorado, flew back to Miami, and damn, my bad. That's right. As long as it's yours, not mine. Yeah. Dog, it is, and we're fucked. I'm like, gonna have to come over next week and rewind this shit. <laughs> so, um, uh, flew down to Miami. I kept training here. This is at the end of 2016, November, December. Right before 2017, I told my coach at Fish Street Gym, his name was Josh Dempsey, my first coach, great friend at the time too. I was like, man, I want to take a pro fight, dog. You know, I was thinking to myself at that at that time, I was like, I'll do it for Instagram, do it for my kids, get some pictures, and finally, like, live this dream, uh, at least one moment. So I went to Dominican Republic. I fought. I got a first round knockout. Hit the dude with like a left hook. The dude fell, and it was like this rush of life, bro. You know what I mean? Your hand gets raised, and I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta keep doing this. I still, I was still 50-50. I was half on the street, half training. You know what I mean? And I did that for about two years until finally I was like, that's it, man. This is what I want to do. This is how I'm going to pay my bills. I finally found out what hard work really is, the meaning of, of you know, of being consistent. And uh, here we are today, man, almost six years later. Fastest knock on a combat sports. I fought for the world title two times in bare knuckle. Uh, I fought a guy I've been watching fight for 20 years, uh, Tiago Alves, you know, uh, another guy who I just lost to, uh, Frank Ritchie, who's a, a warrior, man, you know what I mean? I, there's, there, I don't... Like anybody else, you know, you get down on yourself for a couple moments, but when you when you reflect, dog, you've done some big things in life, dog. So I'm happy where I'm at today in life, man. Yeah, and for sure, man. And it's all part of the story, dog. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because like you wouldn't have the, per I bet you you wouldn't have the character you have if you hadn't dealt with the people you had to deal to, dog. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Like you were on the streets, yeah, it's the streets and shit, but like. You know, you're going to learn a lot, dog, yeah. you know, and out of the things you apply there, you're going to be able to apply in fighting, you're going to be able to apply in exactly. podcasting, whatever exactly. it is, dog, exactly. you know? Exactly, exactly. And then, yo, it's just that character, that's why I, feel, I can feel that, like, that experience, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. When I hear you talk, when I hear you on the podcast, dog, yeah. one of the things I wanted to ask you about, because I, I saw your documentary, yo, uh, fucking amazing, Thank right? you, man, uh, thank you. Never Too Late, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. And I remember you were talking, you were talking about this little thing right here, and you were saying that um, you were you were living this life, and... You had kids, and then you were lying to your kids. Right, and right. Then, that's huge. That's like, another big thing. Yep. How good? I guess what I want to ask you, like, how good does it feel, like, maybe, like, to walk the line, but with that conscience? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, how does how, how does it feel now? Work. Yeah, like doing oh. the pure work, the reward yeah. of getting the pure work instead of like doing things, but maybe the way the route of the money coming in didn't feel the best. No, it. it, it it absolutely did, didn't, right? Because so when I was living this life for, for up to 35, you know, at 35 years old is when I changed my life around. So when I was living this life for my entire life, I always knew, I always knew I was doing wrong. You know what I mean? And we came up, like I said, I grew up with a single mom, but she's a good woman. And thank God she's still around to this day. So I knew what I was doing wrong, you know what I mean? But, but I didn't, I, I never had a male role model, right, coming up. So I never had anybody to kind of steer me in the right direction. And that's not ex an excuse. It's just the truth. You know what I mean? So I never had. So I thought, I always thought what I was doing was right. You know, uh, uh, cheating on women, I thought it was the right thing to do. I thought selling drugs was the right thing to do. I thought running the streets and being a gang and being a tough guy was the right thing to do. You know what I mean? But at the same time, while you're doing that, you kind of know inside that, man, this shit, this, this is bullshit. You know what I mean? So... To, to to answer your question now today when I'm I'm walking the line I got a great one a great woman by my side now um I got my kids man and 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 when I you know win lose or draw a fight but but just to see their face and to to see how they they emulate you bro you know and they look up to you and uh, there's no better feeling in the world dog there's no better feeling in the world you got to fight in front of your kids I've got to fight. He, they go to all my fights the last couple he didn't go to because I got it out of I I fought so I'm about to have my sixth fight just this year from February to, to now September it'll be my, my sixth fight uh, I've done two bare knuckles I think two boxing this will be boxing and I've done two MMA fights um uh, I'll tell you why I did that now. But so I, my son goes to all my fights. My, like the third one this year, it was an MMA fight, and I actually lost. So I got a triangle choke. But I was fighting a bigger guy. The guy weighed in like 20 pounds more than me. All good. We ended up fighting. He got on top of me, and my son, I didn't, obviously, you don't know this because you're fighting, but he's freaking out in the crowd, freaking out, throwing up and everything. You know what I mean? So after the fight, you know, uh, they come up to me like, man, look, man, you know, I don't think you should bring your son because he was, he was like spazzing out over here, you know? Oh, and, and so I had, I had a little talk with him, like, look, man, you know, this happens. It's a fight. Yeah, you know it's a fight. I, I I lost. I know. I know. Damn, like you don't want to see me in this position, but I can't. I can't have you getting like that. You know, this is this is my place of work, and you're my son. You know, and I know you care for me. and I love you, but you can't be getting like that. We need to. You know, we need to fix that. And he's like, No, Dad, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. You know, so so I'm gonna have him in my corner. I I, want, I wish I could have him in my corner, but I'm gonna have him at the fight. This this fight coming up. 
I love that, yo. Yeah, thank I you. think that's great, dog. Yo, thank my boy Joe Ray, he used to have his dad and his brother corner him sometimes. Yeah, that's awesome. He just, all he that's says is he needs yeah. somebody to hold water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So that's it, bro. And, and, and you know, some people who care and you want to give at the same time, like, I, like I take fighting like uh, as serious as you could take anything in this world, you know, you know, because we're not playing games out there. Um, that's why you know, like they they say you can't play boxing, you can't play fighting, bro. You know what I mean? This is a, 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 as real as it gets when it comes to sports. But um, it's awesome. It's a, it's it's. There's no better to me, to me, and that's not to take anybody from anybody, to anything from anybody else. But it's no better experience in the, or, or experience in, in in the world, bro. You know, once you get out there, and again, win, lose, or draw, because it's funny all the anticipation you have leading up to the fight. Once you fight and it's over, again, win, lose, or draw, you're like, damn, I could do this again, you know? For sure, man. And leading up to it, you're like, I hate this shit, dog. It's crazy, dog. Right? Yeah. You're like, oh, why do I do this? Yeah, you know exactly, what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, yo, on fight day, I'm like, this is crazy, but yeah, what? Dog, yeah. And you're like, oh, and yeah. it's like you. You signed up you know what i'm saying yeah, so it's dog, like yeah. that's my coach used to be like yo you're the one that signed up yeah, for this dog, yeah it's so true you know? <laughs> it's so true but dog. dog the anxiety it's like i just think about it like back in the day when we were kids on the street yo like all right it's different it was like um when you're with your boys and yeah. you're at the movies or whatever dog and then uh and then you get into a big scrap yeah, but you sucker punch somebody right yeah, there you know what i mean that's quick yeah. Yeah, you yeah. don't think about it right right right, right. But, but a fight you're leading up the guy's training with you uh, we know for you so yeah 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 the anticipation is is like nothing else man it's way different right it is like i remember being a kid though and one time my boy was like yo after school we meet up at the park at the, at the greenway and i was like oh but then that day i remember like oh shit i was thinking the yeah, whole time yeah, you know yeah, like yeah, oh yeah, i gotta yeah, get there yeah, at three yeah, o'clock yeah. that's know? funny you're like me dog i get in my head too uh, and uh and not because because not because i don't trust my skills not because I'm scared, you know what I mean, uh, or or you know, because we all are a little scared. But but for lack of a better word, I'll say scared. You know what I mean. Um, but like like a lot of things that come into my head is like, look, man, I'm 41 now. I I got pro at 35 when a lot of guys are retiring, dog. You know what I mean. A lot of guys are my, but when I started fighting professionally, guys are retiring. So I I that that comes into my mind I'm like, man, these these dudes been training since they were kids, dog. You know what I mean? I've been on and off for years. Like now now it's been serious for for the last five six years. But uh, but man, you're human. Everything goes in your head. Like, even Mike Tyson said he was scared back before the fights. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's a normal thing. Nah, for sure. But you know what I say about when you start a little bit older? I started when I was 22, okay. which for MMA, it was pretty old, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Not really. I mean, but... And but, I really, but, now that I look back, yeah, I'm like, damn, yeah. dog, I wish I was well, 22. Well, because well, you're, what, 35 now? I'm 35 now. Yeah, so you've been doing it for 13 years, though. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, 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 you're up, a vet, dog. dog. You're a vet. I'm a fucking vet, <laughs> hey, let's dog. Go. You know hey, what I'm saying? Th thank you for your service, <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a combat veteran. Let's go. Baby. You are, my nigga. You are. Yeah, bro. You know? That's fucking serious. Dog, and in Thailand, you fucking you did the true, the real, the the realest. You did kickboxing, Muay Thai, and everything. Yeah, yeah, I did Muay Thai. Oh, come on, fight dog. In Thailand, dog. Oh, you, you fought that one uh, for one. one I'm proud of you, dog. dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nah, but yeah. Um, and, and, and you know what's funny is like like we said earlier, I I was watching you before we even knew each other too, dog. You know, because I'm a big Miami guy too. And you know, and and in the fight world, I respect everybody. You'll never see me talk shit to an opponent or anything. If they want to talk shit i'll let him if it gets to a certain point i know how to talk it back dog you know what i mean but um i never get into the back and forth but i love uh, uh representing for for the home team dog you know what i mean and you were doing it out there in asia yeah trying to dog yeah, i had yeah. the honey badger not trying dog. you were doing it dog. i was dog i put yeah. that shit on my back and yeah. you know what's funny dog everybody from miami always sticks out wherever yeah yeah, we yeah of course of course of course it's the only reason why i think i could be a comedian dog you yeah know? yeah well i love what you're doing with that dog yeah i appreciate that talk, talk to me about that talk oh. to me about that bro how, how did we get there Dog, all my boys in England, all my boys from okay. Thailand, like England, yeah. Australian, they ain't never seen a Miami cat yeah. before. Yeah, dog. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so and you're, you're making there, everybody cracking up. I get out yeah. there and I'm just myself, like I am with my homies at La Careta, dog. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, We're yeah. just shit like, oh yeah, get yeah, me yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah, just yeah. like really, you know, <laughs> how do you call it? Like enthusiastic. Yeah, dog. yeah. And, and the Spanglish and shit. And yeah. the Spanglish dog. I start and then like and when I'm in Miami, I'm not very Cuban, dog. Like my Spanish is bad, but when I travel, I'm like, oh yeah, get I play it up, dog. Yeah, I become a real Wahito. Of course, of course, of course. Bring that Cuban out. Yeah, dog. So it just started like that, dog. Just making my friends laugh in the locker room, you know? Because like whenever I'm around people that I like and I feel comfortable, that's when I open up. I, I'm you know the same I'm way, yeah. So oh. you know it's funny, you say you don't talk shit, dog, but you're pretty smart, so I bet you you could if you wanted to, dog. I, I mean I, I bet I, you, you I, got I, some good banter, dog, if I, they I, if they want to try you, dog. I, I could, I could, dog, and I could go back and forth and I think about shit all the time. The thing is like like you'll see something like I'm sure it's to happen to you. You know, you'll see some shit on your Instagram where somebody talks shit and some guy who fucking rides a couch, dog, and who's you know, who who when he sees you in person can't wait to get a picture or an autograph or some shit you know what i mean so i don't i, I definitely don't get into that because you don't want, I, first of all we're grown ass men i'm not gonna get into a fucking text battle with you you know what i mean 
Uh, and to fighters, I just respect every fighter. Now, if like I always tell people, look, talking shit doesn't make anybody bleed. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And another thing is, look, I got kids. I'm a grown ass man, dog. You know, you talk shit about my kids or my mom. Fuck fighting on the, in the ring, dog. You know what I mean? Like fuck that shit. I'll, I'll give up the money. You know what I mean? Because I'm very prideful when it comes to that, dog. You know what I mean? I'll put my hands out you on you and fuck the money and fuck all that. So I so I don't get into it. So it doesn't lead into anything like that, dog. You know? Definitely, yo, that's. The- Bro, hasn't did you see the change in the game like since the Conor McGregor era dog Bro, with the yeah, shit talking? No, 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 it's through the roof. And in, and in bare knuckles, it's through the roof even where, like where everybody oh, bare knuckles the shit talker. That's right, and, dog. And everybody, that's when how, you got that, Mike Perry leading the way in your division. You you're fucking yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah, in yeah, for no, it, dog. And you and you have these <laughs> fights set up. You have the fights already set up where they they'll call you and tell you, hey, I got I got your name on a contract here. You don't know, for for this guy. You're like all right, take the fight. That guy will get into like some internet beef with somebody else, and they'll call you back. Hey, look, no, I got a different guy, and they'll set those guys up. So yeah, I mean it's leading the way. Look at Jack, look at Jake Paul, man. Shout out to him, bro, doing his thing, talking shit and getting his way, getting fucking fighting Anderson Silva. I think that's a hard one for him though. You train with Jake Paul, right? I have, I have, I have, I, I have trained. Yeah, I actually they flew me to California in 2019. I was part of Logan Paul's camp when he fought KSI, and uh, and then uh, I, 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 me and Jake sparred a little bit there. He wasn't as good as he is now because then this year, earlier this year, no, sorry, last year, uh, I'm good friends with BJ Flores too, which is his coach. So BJ called me and uh, and here in Miami, and I went to go spar him. And I ain't gonna lie, Jake surprised the fuck out of me, dog. He he was snapping. Never dropped me. I never dropped him. We got some good punches on each other. But if it was a fight and you had to score, he definitely beat my ass, bro. He's probably in camp, right? I reckon, you know. Yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, in yeah, camp. Yeah, yeah, calling yeah, you to bring yeah, you yeah, in to yeah, work, you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah exactly, course, exactly. You can never really like training's training, right? Exactly, That's a good one. Exactly. But he's legit, dog. He's, he's putting legit. in his and he puts in work, dog. He does, and he's a twenty-three year old kid, dog. And he's rich beyond belief, dog. So fucking. When I hate, dog, God, then he'll be, you know what I'm God saying? God bless him. God bless him, dog. Yeah. And he's 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 nice, dog, and he knows how to he knows how to play the game. He does. He really does. He really does. Look, when it comes to shit talking, he's fucking at the top of the line, dog. You know. I know a great fight for you, dog. Somebody else who knows how to play the game dog yeah. what's up with Andrew Tate dog oh I, I, dog I, you, know Do you know what I feel like he could get on I feel like you can get him on your podcast I, bro I, I would love to Andrew Tate when you watch this dog I would love to have you on um you know, I was never an Andrew Tate fan, and not because of what he says or anything. I never even knew about the guy. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, you know, like everybody else, not, not everybody else, but a lot, like a lot of people, they blow up on Instagram or, or YouTube or whatever, and you're like, oh, this is like the next sensation. And I didn't really take the time to hear the guy. Heard a couple of things here and there through, 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 you know, that they cut and they make it sound their way on Instagram. Um, but then I heard his final statement that he just did because he got cut off everything. He just did Crazy, a final right? statement, yeah. And uh, I heard that, and it was fucking great, dog. It's like an hour and a half long. I heard the whole entire thing. I, I actually rewinded it three or four times because he said, very well-spoken dude, says some deep, deep shit that, 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 I, that I feel the same way about what he's feeling. And uh, I became a fan, bro. I became a fan. Yo, the truth hurts, but it'll set you free. Absolutely. Boy, Matthew told me that a long Absolutely. time ago, dog. Absolutely. And that's some real one, dog. And they say if it, you don't want to hear it. If it don't hurt, it ain't the truth, baby. Ooh, <laughs> when you got homies with you, dog, yeah. you know? When you got like yeah. that. And that's, that's yeah. like a big thing with like yeah. fake friends, like from yeah. people at the top. I'm sure like a guy like Jake Paul, he's got to be his eyes yeah. Yeah. on yeah. a swivel because yeah. that's when they really start to come yeah. out the woodworks. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Family and friends, dog, you know? But uh, I'm <laughs> a guy, I could take criticism. I like to be, I like to for people to read be real with me too even if it hurts all day tell me dog because if i found out you knew later and you didn't tell me then damn you're gonna fuck up your friendship yeah that's the hard one right yeah. but that's the hard one too because sometimes you're like in a position where you don't want to like upset them you know what i mean like you don't yeah, want to upset I, your boy I, 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 I honestly my character i've always been like where if it's something that needs to be said i gotta say it dog i just gotta get off my chest i can't sleep i can't eat unless i tell you and i'm i and i don't always pick the right timing you know what i mean yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. But, <laughs> but but i told you dog you know what i mean and, and that's it you know yo the cut the timing comes with experience hey, right 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 right, right, right. 41 no, now yeah, dog yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, little yeah. by slowly baby yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so, sometimes there, i get the timing sometimes i don't it's like comedy hey yeah. but, but back to comedy <laughs> I, I love what you're doing dog because uh again uh, a secret thing that i've always wanted to do was kind of like maybe not follow it as a career but like i've always wanted to get on stage so i've i've had my chance uh i went to go see britney brave yeah and carlos and they were playing in right here in little havana some little spot uh on on 17th avenue street i think it's on 19th um, avenue street flamingo i think maybe no 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 it's not uh i forgot what it's called but um, I got up, I got up there and I said two dumb jokes and I got up. They got oh, you me. You got some jokes, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh, I got little, I got little, little one liners, dog. You know, I said I did, I did like forty five seconds up there on stage, and uh, I came down. But but I would, I always, I love comedians, dog. I love comedy. I matter of fact, I, you should watch this. I saw it last night on Netflix. This guy named Sheng Wang. He's some Chinese dude from from. He's from Texas, actually. Okay. It's fucking hilarious, dog. Watch it. I'm gonna check him out, <laughs> yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. It's funny you say that. We can go right down. We're just ro- yo. It's funny you say that, dog. Cause I was living in Thailand. I was telling yeah, you before yeah, yeah, off yeah. here. I was living in Thailand, and you had um from Thank You Miami. Um, Brittany Bray. Uh, not uh, um from uh, I Hate Mondays. Oh, Carl. Yeah, yeah, Carl. Yeah, on right. Yeah. Carl and Hayden. Then, and then uh, he's, we had mutual friends too, yeah. like uh, my boy that used to work with him. You know? He's a fucking great guy. So then, Love that guy. Yeah, so there you go. So I'm pretty sure that's how I found the Don't Blinks. Yeah, I saw yeah. episode one, and then I'm keeping up with you guys, yeah. and you start getting on the comedian stuff. Yeah, yeah. And when I was living in Phuket, I was living like in a little island part of Thailand. Yeah, 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 that's dope. And then I moved to Bangkok, which is like the big city. Right. But it's because I wanted to do comedy, dog, and they had a lot of comedy clubs over there. Oh, shit. And English, you could do this. Yeah, yeah, English? dog. Oh, you could have like comedy Because a, a lot of like Britain people from, from England and shit there, right? Yeah, dog. Yo, it's crazy. I don't really have no Thai friends, bro. It's all like <laughs> Australian and Britain people. That's it's funny. just all fighters and yeah, expats. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But dog, you were the reason why that inspired me to get my shit Thank together. Thank you, dog. That's and huge. Yo, I'm telling you right this. So this, just so you know, right, that don't play podcast, dog. I'm out there in Thailand, and I used to love that shit because I'm watching it. Reminded me of 305, dog. Awesome. It, when I'm yeah. homesick over there. Yeah, yeah, because we're spitting the lingo on the local uh, lenders, yeah, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and you're spitting the lingo. You're, yeah, yeah. Yo, everybody knows somebody that knows. It's just like you're always <laughs> dropping one liners <laughs> from Miami song. Yeah. You had JT Money, dog. I had JT Money, dog. Are I you had kidding me? That, that, that's a legend, dog. <laughs> that's his 305. Yeah, so dog, when you had JT Money, it's like. And then you have Brittany Brave, dog. Yes. I come across that podcast, and then I Googled her, and that's how I was able to, like, get... I was Super cool on, chick, dog. Super chick, and a murderer, bro. A you, murderer, you yeah. Seen her on For, stage? Yeah, yeah, funny as fuck. Dog. Funny as fuck, bro, yeah. A, a rocket, And, and, a and rocket, real, bro. real, like, uh, like she's aggressive for a woman, you know that's what I mean? But I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She's like a firefighter, yeah. dog. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm We've trying. had a couple good comedians on, man. We have my boy Cisco, Mario Romil, that's doing big right now. Yeah, you had a a few dog. You had a few yeah, bunch yeah. of Miami comedians. Yeah, yeah, like, I yeah. can tell. I that's how I know you love my yeah. you co- love comedy. Because you're getting all the local comedians. Yeah, you know? Absolutely, dog. Kevin Hart, we're, we're waiting for you to come on. <laughs> Yo, Kevin Hart, where you at, dog? You can do, you can do your Miami run. You yeah, stop at the dip, yeah, yeah. Don't Blink podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you drop in Kendall. Yeah. By then, we'll have a Honey better Badger, time. Right. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it all in one day right here in one room, dog. Come through. <laughs> Uh, oh man what, what's up with you man what do you got coming up next man yo so right now i'm just grinding i was a little bit off from the podcast yeah. you know what i'm saying but um one what? of my main reasons to move to miami was to do comedy dog okay, dope, dope, so dope, dope. i was a little bit slacking on the podcast but right now i'm just focusing on comedy so like you're looking for your exit strategy dog. out of fighting a little bit yeah looking yeah. for my exit strategy out to yeah, be yeah. honest dog. yeah, yeah. yeah. this is one of them right here too this you know is, this is exactly yeah. dog so like like I said, like I was telling you before, you know, my last two fights, you know, finished by, I got stopped. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And uh, the fire just hasn't been there like it has. Right, you I know? understand that. I it's understand. one thing if I'm going and I'm training and I'm having great fight camps and I'm yeah. just losing. Right. But if I'm fighting, if I'm showing up to training and I'm like, you know I what hate I'm saying? Fuck, I hate this shit. Yeah. Then it's like, then I got to start thinking. About I, it. And, I and I'm getting fucked up. It's like, if I hate training and I'm winning and I'm making a shitload of money, yeah. all right, we're going to keep the ball yeah. rolling. You yeah, feel right, me? Right, 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 right. But um, I'm finding other things that I love, dog. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with it. But no, it's hard I don't, to accept. I don't. It's hard to accept. You feel me? It, like, it is, bro. Especially as a fighter, dog. We're we're prideful. You know, man. We we never want that to go away. But um, I'm gonna drop it right here, bro. This is the first time I say it on a podcast. But I'll be 42 in March. Uh, I think once I turn 42, that's it for me. As for fighting again, I, I I'm I, like that's what's in my head. Uh, I never know if a good opportunity comes up, dog. I'm gonna take it. You know, but. Uh, uh, the, the way I'm taking it now where it's my life where it's my bread and butter I kind of want to start making my exit strategy too so it's good that I've been working the podcast almost two years you know and I got all the little gigs that I that I do on the side but yeah man you know I, I, the thing is and you know too as a fighter bro you've been doing it a lot longer than I have you know professionally and just training period uh, I want to be able to be 45 and have a regular conversation dog you know what I mean because <laughs> you walk into these gyms and you see coaches and you see people who fought too long and they're fucked up dog it's crazy, it and is. especially now I'm writing comedy, dog, and I'm going on stage forgetting my lines, dog. Yeah, dog. I grab my keys. You feel me? Yeah. And it's like the fights. Yeah, whatever. People have seen me dropped in these crazy ass fights, dog, yeah, yeah. but they don't even know what the training sessions, right. dog. Right, you know? exactly. Which is worse. Yeah, that's yeah. where that's where yeah. you're getting yeah. the real. I, I, I spar three times a week for months leading up to this fight, dog. So at the fight, it's nothing. <laughs> and boxing sparring too, dog, yeah, which yeah. is wild. Yeah. Yo, how do you prepare for bare knuckle? That's fucking crazy, yo. I, I don't even think yeah. we're not. I'm not. We're not. T- we gotta get back. 
Yo, you fight bare knuckle for the people who don't know. Because yeah. my dad's gonna be listening, yeah. dog, with the with the wraps. What right, do you right. Your hands just, with, bro? They, well, before they used to have like a like a sleeve. They had no fingers, but you put on the sleeve and it kind of holds your thumb and and your metacarpals. You know what I mean? And then you're supposed to tape that. So now they just put a piece of gauze. Like I, I like my shit loose anyway, so they put a piece of gauze and just tape where your knuckles are exposed. That's really so if you break your hand, you don't bones don't come flying out. You know what I mean? So it's just a compressed this in your thumb. Um, yeah, bare knuckles are wild, dog. It's it's the primitive shit. You know, you know, it's a it's a gladiator shit. I I love it. It's where I come from. I fought in the street a million times. I went to prison. Was fighting in prison. So, uh, this kind of went hand in hand with me. I, I got a great opportunity uh, a couple of years back. You know, I fought on BKFC ten. They're like on thirty or something now. Wow. Uh, so, in a sense, I was kind of like one of the first pioneers. I got the fastest knockout on on, on in combat sports through them. Um. Man, it's been amazing. It's, it's been a hell of a ride, dog. It's been a hell of a ride. Yo, when that fight is over, does it even like? Do you? Does, I want. Did you have the? You didn't have the podcast yet. Did no, it was born. Yet? It was born from that. It, it was, was born, born from, from the podcast. From, it was born from that knockout. Yeah. yeah. Did you? Always, did you ever want to do podcasting before? Or like, um, um, I, I, I wasn't really thinking about it at that time. I got the knockout. My notoriety went through the roof. I got my blue check on Instagram. I had calls from Russia, Japan, France, everybody, everywhere in the world, dog. Um, so I was like, man, I got to, you know, I did, a, I, I, I got a PR person at that time to help me, you know, to help me with my, with my, you know, with that fire I had set, dog, to keep the fire going for a little bit. So I was doing oh, you a- got somebody to help Yeah, you yeah, that. I got, yeah, I paid a PR That's person. so good, bro. Yeah, they put me on radio all over. I was in radio like in Minneapolis and fucking New Jersey in the morning and I, I would sit on the phone for an hour and do like 10 or 11 different fucking radio stations every morning. Um, so I, 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 uh, capitalized on my, capitalized on. I capitalized on it. And then, so, so I actually talked about this the other day cause I had Kawaii on my podcast. This it hasn't come out yet, but I had him, I interviewed him the other day. Um, so me, Kawaii, was a good friend of mine. You know Kawaii, right? The, the comedian. Yeah. yeah. So I had Kawaii and a good friend of mine, Wes, from uh black sheep perspective. I don't know. You know, Wes too. No way, Wesley. Dog. Yeah, yeah, that's yes, my dog. Bro. That's my dog. I know Wesley. Yo, how's from the any... black sheep perspective? I haven't heard of it. It's him. fucking. It's great, dog. It's great. I'm actually West dog. You need me to put me on. Put me on there as a guest, dog. <laughs> I was on there with uh, with Jesse. Uh, with Je what's, my, what's my boy's name? He's a boxer. Jesse. Uh, Jesse Cruz. No way, dog. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you know what? Yo, he might be the OG podcaster in Miami. Yeah, dog. yeah, for sure, for sure. I think he's ahead of West. Yeah, I think he's been West has always been ahead of the time, game of her shit, certain shit. Yeah, when I started fighting MMA and training MMA uh, again, like a, like in uh, this is like 2009. Um, I was with West. I was with West. We were at some. I forgot what the fuck the gym was called. It's it's, it's all transitioned a couple of times. Now it's run by Dan. Damn, you know what the hell is it called? Whatever. Evolve. Evolve, exactly. Evolve. Evolution. Evolution. Evolve. Evolution, exactly. Evolve's the one exactly. in one exactly. FC, dog. Exactly. That's the big... exactly. Evolution, Evolution, dog. That's yeah. when I met him, dog. He was training the one across the street from Coco's, dog. He was holding pads and shit. Oh, okay. He was oh. there with D Block. I don't know if you know D Block. Yeah, dog. D Block's my dog, man. He, he kept, <laughs> D Block came for like, shit. yeah. D Block came for like, yeah. yeah. D Block came for like, Philly or something. He was a, a bouncer at a strip club for ages, dog. Yeah, he yeah. still is, bro. Yeah, is he? If you ever go to a pink pony, he'll. That's my guy, D Block. D Block's got you, Yeah, yeah, yeah. D Block, you won't even tell. D Block's a sleeper. He'll knock people out. Oh, boy. You know, yeah. shit. He's just in the strip club wishing yeah. a motherfucker would. Yeah, 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 yeah. For like, real, yeah, for real. He lo <laughs> he lives for that. Uh, well, me and West met. Okay, we're Coco. So look, you come down 117. Before you go over the bridge, you I used to be to the left. Yes, the, ev ev the evolution, right? Yeah. Right, right, right. But now, but now they moved it somewhere. Else. Kendall, yeah, but dog. before it was evolution, it was uh, oh, Tough Academy. That's what it was called. Yeah, Tough Academy. My time, dog. Yeah. Well, me and West were there 2008, 2009. I met him there. He was my coach. Fucking great guy. He was fighting at the time too. Anyways, I, I got into the podcast. Got Kawaiyo and Wes. I wanted to do it with them, us three. He knows Kawaiyo. Yeah, he knows Kawaiyo oh, good. Man. Yeah, they hang out all the time. So us three sat down. We did our mock one to try it out. We did fucking great, but then our schedule was off. And my most important thing was I wanted to be consistent. Like every week, I wanted to drop a show. And uh, with them, I couldn't do it because everybody was on a different schedule. I got with two nights. He had bought the equipment by coincidence. We got, did it, and bro, Don Blink was born. And you got the same. You found the guy that you need for the. Me and him flow. Oh yeah, we flow. We 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 talk. You know, I I I I. And the thing is, I've always been the way I am now. I love talking to people. I love having conversations. Uh, where I where I think I got that from was I know for a long time in my life I kind of look crazy in a sense that you know I got the scars on my face. I've always had the gold teeth. Uh, I used to have dreadlocks. So when I speak to people, I feel like. 
you I, I get your guard down. You know what I mean? Down, I, I calm it down. Yeah. Ah, I got you. you dog, I mean? So for when people sure. come in elevators and shit, I'm like, yo, what's up? You good? How you doing? How's your day? Then so, I go, shit, okay, this guy's all right. <laughs> so you've been doing this for a while now. <laughs> yeah, you've already yeah. had, you know, I, for the, sure, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. like, for me, like, I treat, yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. Uh, for, right now, I got you the ears too, and yeah, shit, You too, yeah, you with the ears, the scar. You know what's dog? crazy? Yeah. Before the scar, it was pretty normal. But now I got the scar, <laughs> nobody fucks with me, dog. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I almost wish it was gone, yeah. dog. I'm yeah, like, but once you open your mouth, they're, everybody's like, oh, but you're a fucking sweetheart, dog. Exactly, yeah. dog. Even when I get on stage, I got to, like, let them know, yo, I'm just playing, dog, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause it's funny, I've always been good at talking shit, yeah, dog. You know, yeah, fighting yeah. just happened by accident, dog. You know what I mean? That's awesome, dog. But I've always been pretty like, yeah, that's that's been pretty chill for me, dog. How, you know? how did you how did you get into fighting, dog? Dog, uh, so I've always been like kind of crazy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I'm always, uh, I got in trouble when I was younger, dog. Went to rehab. You know, I was in fucking, I was in this long rehab program. Got arrested for like nine, ten months. Oh, you shit. know, I was going through all these drug programs. Yeah. And then I had a counselor a long time ago kind of be like, yo, you should do this. And I was like, ah, and I kind of went to, but it was planted in my head, dog, yeah, you know? Yeah. So then I'm going to these meetings. I'm like clean and sober. I'm doing my thing. And then a guy that was like kind of like counseling me throughout those meetings, like, like a guy who had a little more experience, you yeah. know? See, I've always wanted to train, dog. Like Rocky, I grew up watching Rocky, yeah, dog, yeah, yeah, fighting yeah, in the back. Sure, yo, yeah. fighting. That was my <laughs> shit, dog. The underdog story. Yeah. I've always been small. Me too. I always like the I've always been small. Story. Yeah, dog. I've always been small. So like when everybody, fuck, everybody fucks with my friends, I always want to be the first one and protect my people, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that was my thing too. Yeah, dog. Yeah. So like uh, I've, I always thought I was too old to fight, dog. Yeah. Like, remember, you know, Miami, like, we get to, um, you get to high school, dog, and some of these I, kids. I remember being 22 and thinking I was too old to do things. I remember right? that, dog. Yeah, yeah. And I remember in high school, like, uh, some of these kids, they were, like, boxers, and they had already retired boxing. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying, yeah, dog? Yeah. And I'm like, damn, this kid's 17. He's like, oh, yeah, my hands are registered. Remember yeah, 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 yeah. used to say their hands are registered, dog? <laughs> I remember that shit, too. <laughs> you remember that shit, dog? Uh, shut up, man. Somebody recently that I'm training, dude, had legit told me, he's like, oh, you do jiu-jitsu? I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, my hands are registered. Like, yeah, no, they're yeah, not, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, dog. <laughs> yeah, like that, you know. But then I saw, then this guy showed me a video, dog. I'm here with him within one of these meetings, dog, and he shows me a video of him hitting pads. And he was 35, dog. Speaking of that, Damn. speaking of like, you started uh, 35. I'm yeah. 35 now. Yeah. He was 35 and he was cracking Muay Thai pads. I oh, couldn't shit. believe it, dog. It was just like mind boggling. Oh to shit, me. that's awesome. And he took me to his gym the next day, and I went to the gym, and I was like, dying. I was smoking cigarettes at the time. Uh, I was terrible, you know. Yeah. Not terrible. I was just like lost. Yeah, dog. yeah, you know yeah, how it is, bro. Yeah, yeah. When we're young, out I, here, I was there too, dog. <laughs> m- m- running amok, dog. Yeah. You know, and like I wasn't getting fucked up, so that was my. That was what I had. I was clean and sober, okay, nice. but I had no direction. I was just like all this energy and nowhere to put yeah, it. And yeah. I found training, dog. Nice. And then once I found it, I was like, oh, this is it. Cause like I'm a fucking. I'm a scatter box dog, yeah, you know. Too, I, I'm too. all over the place. Me you feel too, me? but boxing, but with fighting, you can't be. You gotta yeah, be dog, in the moment, be, dog, <laughs> or you get knocked the fuck out. Yeah, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. something therapeutic about being in the moment. That that's. What, I think it's like we do therapy every day when we train, dog. Like we get I, to that zone, you know. I agree with you one thousand percent because, bro, I've always been like that. I'm I'm a head case dog, and uh, if I today today and where we're at today, if I don't train for a day or two, I feel like shit the third day. Like I, I'm not. I'm depressed in a sense. I'm not gonna do drugs, and I know I know better now. You know what I mean? But I'm like, I gotta get to the gym because I feel like a piece of shit, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, I call it like exercising those demons, dog. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You gotta get those demons out of your head, dog. <laughs> yeah, dog. Yo, you. you uh, don't they say train idle, music. idle time is the devil's playground, dog. That's my favorite line, dog. <laughs> yeah. Idle hands, yes, dog. Idle hands is the devil's playground, yeah. dog. Yeah, sir, yeah, and sir. I feel like, especially you have you have kids, right? Yes. Yeah. If I have kids, that's the number one thing I need to like to keep them busy, dog. Yeah, kids yeah, have no yeah, business having yeah. no time to do nothing. Because no, no. you got time, you're gonna end up on the street smoking. Yeah. I know it. You yeah. know it, dog. Yeah, yeah. The kids, but I tell you what, dog. The, you, the kids that are always busy doing shit, dog. Yeah. In programs, yeah, football, yeah, yeah. this. Yeah, yeah I, no. And, and I learned. I, I mean, I saw it coming up, dog. People who had good parents that were on top of them became good people. You know, good people doing good shit, dog. You know, and. and uh, a couple people who didn't have parents end up becoming good people. You're doing the same shit, but I didn't. I got lost, dog. I got I got lost in the sauce. Excuse me. Oh, you know, I, I I thought I was too cool for too much shit, dog, and I got myself in a ton of shit, dog. You know, I paid the price. But again, like you said, those were all things that made me to the man I am today. But but, dog, to be honest with you, uh, you know. I wouldn't change anything in my life, brother, because, like I said, it made me who I am today. But, damn, if you could go back and, and like, fix a couple things, you definitely would, dog. Anybody would. You know what I mean? For sure. 
yeah, they say that shit, but I'm like, nah, there's a couple of fight camps that would have been like, I would have turned, you know what I mean? Yeah, For sure. Yeah, that, yeah, I know, yeah. I know where the thing yeah. is, like you were saying, that like uh, perception is a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, and when you yeah. have, when you can be self aware. Perception self-aware, is reality, too. Yeah. Perception yeah. is reality, dog. But yeah. when you can be aware, dog, it can take you a long way. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, uh, but for sure, I know that there's some fights that I could have done a little more, yeah. and, I, and I suffer for it, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And me we got to eat with that, but yo, me too. it's data, dog. It's water let me, let me food, ask you, you ever, you ever, it's happened to me. That's why I ask. Uh, you ever get like the fight starts and you're kind of lost in the lights for a second? Oh, for sure, dog. Yeah. I had a fight. Oh man, fucking my biggest fight of my life, dog. I got yeah. fucking and I feel. I swear to God, I feel like I never recovered from that. It's yeah. like it's been like a. The only reason why, fuck. Uh, I listening to your story the other day. I didn't know you started training when you were 35, yeah. dog. You just kind of gave me the eye of the tiger yeah. just a couple weeks ago. I was listening to it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? What, dog? Yeah, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So then it's yeah. like I'm already thinking now, but um, yeah, bro. Like uh, fuck, I forgot. What you I was got saying. lost in the lights. I got lost in the lights, dog. It was the biggest fight. Um, I got the knockout, right? I got this fucking nice knockout. My first knockout on a big stage, dog. I was fucking pumped. And they were like, oh, what do you want next? And my fucking boy told me, dog. He's like, yo. He's like, relax, all right? You know? And I did a fucking interview. And I was like, who do you want? I was like, oh, I want the fucking baddest guy. And I called, like, the baddest dude they had. Like, That's the what Khabib they gave my, you. <laughs> yeah. I asked, like, the Khabib in my fucking uh, um, show, dog. Yeah. And I tell you what, I was so confident. I was so rowdy with the fucking hat and the honey badger. And then, you know what, you know what fucked me up, dog? Fuck, this is crazy. You know that, um, you know, when you ever seen one championship when they call you out? Yeah. To fucking do the um the the pre show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, always yeah, been yeah. on the undercard, so yeah. I never had to do that. Right. So right. when you're on the undercard, it's Bro. chill. Yeah. You just go out and fight. But they put me on the on the on the post show, and I was fighting the former champ. His last fight was for the title. That oh, was shit. like his comeback fight, right? Oh shit. And I remember in the pre show, we all lined up next to your opponent. Yeah. It's like the main event. All these guys, and when I lined up to this guy, I'm like. I got my fucking hat on, dog. I'm like in the zone, like pacing. And when I looked to my right, this guy was fucking chilling, dog. Mm-hmm. Like in his fucking sandals, you know. Uh, he didn't even like have yeah, his uniform, yeah. you know. He didn't have a care in the world, <laughs> You're like, Fuck. you know. And I was like, ah, uh, you know. Yeah, and it's just yeah. kind of like something hit me there. I was like, damn, this guy, like, you know. I was like, ah, uh, it's, you know. So I understand and, exactly yeah, what dog. you're saying, though, because I watch fights and I watch people like when they're announcing more calm. I'm like, this is what I gotta do. I just gotta chill, dog. <laughs> exactly, dog. But yo, the fight started, bro. And like, I remember, like, I was just like. I couldn't, like, I remember I threw a kick, dog. He took me down. Like, like and when you're like, fighting in a dream, you're, like, stuck in sand and shit, dog. Oh, and it's like, that's how I woke up, too, because I got slept with an arm triangle, you know? Did you fuck? Dog, I, he took me down, and I was like, that's, yo, you know, remember, do, yo, it's kind of crazy. Remember Dustin Poirier and uh, Charles Oliveira? Yeah. Remember, everybody, he, he, remember, he didn't get up in that one round. Yeah, he was yeah. just on his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same thing happened to me. So anybody talking shit about him, like, oh, I know exactly why. He was, like, in his head, like, oh, this guy's really good at rear naked choke. Yeah. And he didn't want to get up. And then this guy had rear naked choked all his opponents, you know? Oh, shit. So he's in my guard. And then I'm just thinking about his jiu-jitsu instead of just thinking, like, yo, get up. Fight this fool. And yeah. I'm, like, thinking about it. And then I got slept, dog. Uh, Put well, me in an arm triangle. Well, and while, I, while you're thinking, you're yeah, like, what? And I wake up, dog. Like, light comes in. So oh, for sure, bro. For it's like sure, a mushroom dog. trip, they said, when you, when you come through. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was in a last year. I was in a fight camp. Uh, a bunch of UFC guys were up there too. I was in Alabama, and fucking my boy. The first day I'm with my boy Charles Rhodes to fight for UFC now. Beast, dog. We used to fight uh, amateur beast. with him, bro. Yeah, Charles Rhodes is a beast. Yeah, Is he animal. Still in the UFC? Yeah, yeah, Boston strong, bro. That's my boy. Animal. And uh, fighting my boy Rami Rami Hamed, who's about to get to the UFC too, but he's a badass too. Uh, you know, R- Rami's a badass, but but Charles just caught him in some move, and and he he caught him where where Rami couldn't even tap. So fucking all of a sudden we're like he's limp. We're like yo yo get off him. <laughs> and fucking he comes back too. He's like holy shit, I feel like I'm on a mushroom trip. <laughs> yo, it's crazy. You feel like real breezy, yeah. dog. Uh, have you ever done? Uh, have you ever been slept with a never? With thank a choke? God, never knocked, never knocked out or, or slept with a choke, dog. Never. Right. Now, now I've gotten you know close to where like you feel the blood coming back in and you feel you see the specks and shit, but yeah. but never, no, no, never slept. I guess knocked out. I don't know. I've been dropped, dog. But yo, my I've been one, dropped a ton of yeah, times. Yeah, one MC though, they kind of stop. I don't know, dog. My side, I feel like talking shit the last one the elbow was crazy the referee saved my life but the one before <laughs> that dog i don't know a little light bro yeah. i felt like the guy jumped in you know like it was I, a close too early fight. yeah 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 it depends some people do. Yeah, it depends I, I, and in one championship i feel like they jump a little bit fast like yeah. the guy hits the ground and then they kind of like jump in there dog yeah, yeah. i don't know maybe it's just me but um <laughs> you know you always think that but i haven't been like lights out like what happened right that's, right, that's right. the worst dog. right right right, right. I, my boy got knocked out in front of me yeah, when had, you wake up and you're like when's the fight you're like nigga, you just fought i've had like three or four friends like that happen bro and that's 
that's the worst, dog. When yeah. you got to be with them all night, and I they're know. just like, yo, what happened? And yeah, then yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. What's my name? <laughs> having my boy, like, after the first two hours, I thought he was fucking with me. I'm like, yo, is this guy playing with me yeah, right now, dog, you know? know? No, but you you conk out, dog. You lose, like, like a couple, you lose, like, a half a day and shit. You forget what happened. Out, right? Yeah, you forget getting to the arena. I mean, not that it happened to me, but I've seen it happen to people. It's dog. happened to my boy, dog. It's never happened to me, so I guess I haven't been knocked out. But I think yeah. with the chokes, bro, I yeah. think when you get when you get when you get slept, I think you get slept quicker because I think I got I got slept the week before that fight, dog. Oh shit! In the same and I, move. And oh, in the same triangle. move. Oh shit! So arm triangles are weird like that, dog. Yeah. Um, I actually, I, actually one, I, I lost my last MMA fight with an arm triangle. It's like a sleeper choke. Yeah. Like you think you're good until you're not. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's funny, dog. Yeah. And you know what? I always go for a move that oh, exposes the. I gotta stop doing that. Like, I just remember something. <laughs> <laughs> I go for the Kimura and yeah. then I bring my arm over my neck and then I get. It's the same shit. Always right, happens, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you once you do that, you, you trap yourself. So I yeah. think, but I think once you get. Uh, That's funny, dog. I swear to God, I'm gonna show you the video because. We had how I lost was you know we we're on the ground we stood back up we threw a couple hands he he grabbed me and I grabbed him standing up I grabbed him at a kimura and when I went to flip the kimura he f fucking landed on me and that's it. You After, went for the flying kimura one. You know what? I'll show you. I'll show you because we were standing up and I had him in a kimura, but I the I, one I, where like you roll back and try yes, to flip exactly. him over. Yes, exactly. That's my shit. Him, but he landed on me and I fucking that's it. I was fucked after that. I tried that move a lot in MMA, but it, uh, yeah, dog. That's I know that one, dog. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I feel you, G. That's the Miami Street shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, hey, I want to talk to you about that. So yeah. that week that you fought MMA, that was an epic week for you, bro. Yeah. That was you didn't just fight MMA, like yo. I remember I saw you fight Bare Knuckle, right? Yes. What 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 you remember the dates? What dates? February nineteenth. February nineteenth. That's the one I went. Yeah. I saw you fight Bare Knuckle in yeah. the hard round. I got dog. dropped in the first round by by uh by the by the guy. Got dropped and then you knocked him out in the second yeah. round yeah, or yeah. in the first round? Second, second. In the yeah. second round you knocked him out. Yeah. Which BTW that night, dog, everybody who got dropped in the first round came up and got won. Won. Yeah. The guy that you uh the the guy that you fought for the title in the last fight yeah Francisco Ritchie he, he fought got, that yeah, night he yeah. got dropped that he night did, dog he did, he wait did. who did he fight dog uh, my I boy Brutal Boswick I thought yeah, so yeah, dog yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a crazy fight that yeah, was yo. a crazy fight but this guy dropped him yep so yeah. if you fight Bare Knuckle, bro, yeah. get dropped the first round yeah. and I'm pretty sure you're in yeah. dog no but yeah Bare Knuckle's <laughs> a different animal man because even even I tell people like with Bare Knuckle like you know you've boxed a million times. And yeah, you you feel it, but but if you get hit with bare knuckle, even if they like graze you, you're getting cut, dog. So it makes the fight look hundred times worse. It makes the fight look hundred times worse, dog. You know. That's crazy. So you got the big KO, and yeah. then when did you and then you fought MMA or boxing right away? Because I remember I went to message you, and then you're already fighting again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I fought February nineteen. I fought uh, bare knuckle. Then March fourth, I fought MMA. Yeah, like not even I won, two weeks. I won with a with a front with a front head like head, headlock choke. Uh, front what's it called? A guillotine. Guillotine. Nice. Yeah. Um. Then I fought two weeks after that. Uh, MMA again for the George Mosby doll thing. I lost I with an arm that. triangle. Lost in, uh, to to my boy Boss Hog. Man, shout out to Boss Hog doing his thing too. Um. Then I fought. I think a month after that, I fought boxing in a, a night of Cuban boxing in a Hialeah Casino. And then uh, what have I done? What was that? It was one, two, three, four. I think that's. Did you ever know you had a win? Oh, you had the oh win no, February oh, no, 19th? no. And I had a, oh, February 19th no, was your first fight. Yeah, and then, then June 24th, I just fought Bare Knuckle again for the world title against Francisco Ricci. Uh, I lost that one, man. You know, shout out to him. Great, great fucking dude. Great fight. Dog. It was yeah. an amazing fight. Dog. Yeah, amazing, amazing fight, dog. He caught me with a. He caught, and, 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 and he caught me with a great punch. You know, I was coming at him. He caught me with a right hand right here, gashed me. I, and at the moment, you don't you don't know how it is, but I felt blood going into my eye. I took a knee. I got up. I was refreshed. Started fighting again, and uh, and then they stopped it. The doctor checked me out, and, and fucking when I go backstage, I had a gash. <laughs> I was like, oh shit! You see, like your brain, but, dog. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad, I saw huh? my fucking forehead bone and shit. Bro, yeah, that's, that's wild, fighting, man. dog. That's a hell of a year, bro. That's a hell yeah, of a week. Yeah, a hell yeah, of a couple of six. Yeah. That's a six month run and a yeah, half, yeah, dog. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know. Yeah. No, and now I got another one coming up, September twenty third uh, at the Miami Airport Convention Center, boxing again for Revolta Boxing, dog. I'm gonna come check you out, September twenty third. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, for sir. sure, yes, we're gonna come check you out, dog. Absolutely, I got you. That's funny. I was like, yo, you got to fight. I thought you were fighting Bare Knuckle soon. And you're like, yo, next week. No, yeah, yeah. December. December is Bare Knuckle back in Miami. Oh, there you go. So yeah. you're not, oh, you're going to finish a year strong. Dog. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, that's yeah. going to be what? Six? Seven fights. Seven fights yeah. in a year, dog. Might be eight because I think after this fight, and I don't like to look past nobody, but I'm, I'm going, you know, I'm going for the kill next week. Um, there's a fight in Dominican Republic that I might go take too, boxing. That's just, amazing, just, just staying busy. I told you, man. I, I, I'm, I'm planning. My, my plan is to kind of like, 
you know, downshift to, uh, once once I turn 42, maybe take a couple fights if they make sense, you know, with the money. I have a food truck right now. I have a food truck. Uh, excuse me. I have a food truck right now called Knuckle Sandwich 305. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, I've, I, I had it working at a museum. Now we just switched spots, so it's about to start running again. I got the, the podcast, Don't Blink. I have... Uh, I have some other stuff that I st- that we started doing only in Dade, like a sports section that hasn't come out yet, but we're gonna do something. Um, so I'm trying to stay busy outside. I- I've been I've been doing a lot of commentating for UFC Fight Pass with Titan and uh, with Game Bread Boxing. So yeah, That's it's been awesome. fucking dope, man. Yo, I just had a color commentator on the last episode Did of the you? podcast. Nice. Uh, f- the color commentator from um, from one championship. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. And uh, he was talking and speaking. He was in Miami or you just caught him? Nah, we did the Zoom call. You oh, know? okay, 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 okay. I think I'm going to try and do one. They're in, in Singapore, thing. right? Yeah, he's in yeah. Singapore. So, fuck. That's just expensive over there, isn't it? Singapore? It's expensive, dog. Yeah. I used to live out there, yo. I know, I know. You can't even chew gum in Singapore. Nah, you you can't chew gum out there. It's mad, it's mad strict, but you know what's funny, dog? They'll fucking so cut strict. your head off for weed. Yeah, but they don't even know what that shit is. So, I'll be smoking there. It's like, it's oh, like, yeah? It's like you're playing checkers out there, dog. It's like you're playing chess and they're playing checkers, dog. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up, right? Where yeah. there's a will, there's a way, dog. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I was smoking like a Navajo. I ain't gonna lie, dog. Wait, let me ask you. Earlier we were talking, you said you went to rehab and shit. What was your drug of choice back then? Oh, the Perico, the, dog. The Perico, the, 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 the classic, Miami dog. cocaine, the dog. Miami, and the ping, ding, ding, dog. I used oh, to smoke those yeah, gangsters, dog. Yeah, oh, yeah. Smoking. I was on the gangster missions, too, boy. You feel me, yeah, dog? Yeah. You get the little $5, you mix it in with a little bit of rags from the Dutchie, dog. <laughs> and you get together with your boys. It's terrible, right? Woo! <laughs> you already know, dog. It's <laughs> Fucking yeah, dog. 15, 16 years old, walking around Overtown, dog. Yeah, yeah. Cops nah, say, what the fuck you doing, kid? Go bro, home, Listen, I, I was the same way, dog, doing dog. the same shit. Thank God for me, like, I was always... So I did the drugs, but I was scared of them. You know, I, w- I was always scared of them, dog. And and, and, then, and I had kids at a young age, too, dog. So, so like, back then, like, I, I would do it, and I'd feel so guilty, dog, and such a piece of shit, dog, that that actually drove me to my soberness. Like, all right, fuck it. And, and then... And then, and then fighting helps too, dog. Because you go to the gym every day, you don't want people to see you hung over, fucked up. Because people get on your case, dog. You know, and everybody's living this this healthy lifestyle. And I and I picked that up, dog. And you surround yourself with people who care about you, and re- you know. And it's a uh, it's a great fucking lifestyle, dog. You know what I mean? You, you, even if you you don't fight, you just, at least you go to the gym every day. People fucking, especially fighting gyms. It's not like an exactly, A fitness. Bro. You know, you don't know nobody. You go to fighting gyms. Everybody knows your fucking name, your birthday, your mom's name. You know. It's a fellowship, you know. It is. Dog. And if you don't go. They hold you accountable. Yeah, the, that's the best thing exactly, about it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like people said, know dog. that. That's another thing. It's not like LA Fitness. Like you, you could miss a week. Nobody will even notice. At boxing gym, you miss a day, and they're calling. Hey, you all right, bro? You all right? Yeah. And then you don't want to go back. Then you're gonna get fucked up. I get the calls from my coach if I miss a day. You know what I mean? But but that's nowadays. But you know, you know, I'm not doing shit. But he'll call me. Hey, you everything all right? Man, I'm good. I'll see you tomorrow, bro. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, you know, if you get those big months, sometimes you gotta take. It's gonna take a little bit of week, a week or two off. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I've I've taken. Dog, I would love to bring you to the gym for you know, so just get a little workout in, dog. Oh, a hundred percent, we're gonna do it. Right. Um, I've been talking to you know, you know, my boy G Guillermo, the that's barber my guy. Dog. That's my guy, that's dog. Yeah, he's jiu-jitsu jiu-jitsu G. Yeah, yeah, dog. yeah, yeah. He and was an evolution teaching, as a matter of fact. Yeah. And he's telling me that yo, he was telling me that yeah, he's telling me the same shit that you've been inviting me out. He's been t- meaning to hit you up. He's like, yeah. yo, I want to take you out to the, to your G's you got the my spot. Dog, man. You know, you got the ring in the crib, right? You got like a little. Oh, home oh spot, I did, said, I did, or? I did, I did. During COVID, I built, got a ring in my backyard, got bags, got got fucking everything, everything. Everything, everything I needed by the grace of God my coach at the time Commander Zero shout out to him great fucking guy uh, 26 world champions under his belt he was my backdoor neighbor dog so I moved into the crib four years ago one day and but I met him at Fifth Street fucking five years before that and one day I'm fucking I'm driving around my block and when I drive around dog I see him getting out of his car and we're like oh what the fuck ah, he's my fucking neighbor and it worked out no COVID hit he'd walk around the block I'd have 20 people in my backyard fucking boxing people running around the block it was amazing dog and the the, the backyard the, the three second knockout was born from backyard training hey, that's a great one COVID dog yeah you fucking made a gym in your crib yeah. and you kept that shit kept it moving brought bro. out the hustle in you yeah. dog yes sir it's crazy right yeah. It, it broke it, yeah just god forbid like if people did yeah i'm not out here bragging about the COVID, absolutely but, the same way because yeah. a lot of people you know and i've had my runs uh, yeah, the yeah, lockdowns yeah. i was drinking like crazy yeah, lockdown yeah. and then i'm like oh i gotta stop fucking I, around i went through my shit too dog you know what i mean yeah. and, and especially when they locked it down you don't know how long that's gonna last and it kept saying no next month next month and you see every month you're like oh fuck that i'm giving up <laughs> you made a home gym i did the same thing dog. That's awesome. I was working at Tiger Muay Thai and the gym oh, got shit. shut. Oh shit! The gym got shut. Phuket got um, put on lockdown. And the thing is, all the people in Phuket—that's just people who want to train all day long, yeah, dog. Yeah. So I had a couple of private lessons. Yeah. 
And I made a little gym in my crib, dog. And that's when I realized everything that I wanted has been at the home my yeah, whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt the same way. I felt the same way for a while. But then the days I didn't want to work out, I had 20 people back, back at working out. And so I, I would hear, throw, 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 throw. Oh, wow. at your crib. <laughs> yeah. And then you got to come out. They hold, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. It holds yeah, you yeah. accountable, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, hey, who, who, bro, did you walk out with somebody the other day? Was it a UFC fight? Somebody somebody big. It was a big fight somewhere. Or was it a one fight? I was in uh, oh, Vegas. Oh, I was in Vegas with... Izzy and I was with Alex. That's Volkanovsky. right. That's right. I got lucky. Huge, dog. bro. How was that? How'd you get that, bro? Um, I used to train with Alex Volkanovski. Yeah, dog. we did. A tiger. The, everybody came through there. Every I was there with the Golden Ever dog. Bro. I swear to God. Bro, and this guy that's fighting now, Fasiv. I fucking love that guy. He's he was he's from Tiger. He's amazing, bro. He's, he's a he's badass. One of the, he, He's a badass dog. You know, he fought my boy Brad, dog. Brad Riddell, who's another Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he is a beast. I saw that fight. Beast. Unbelievable. That was like yeah. the most high-level fight in a it long was, time for the was, UFC, dog. You know, they had each other's job. Did they? Brad yeah. used to teach kickboxing. That's right. Like, like yeah. uh... Because, you know, Muay Thai, Thailand is like Muay Thai, like right, the right. Thai fighters. But then of the course. kickboxing, they had like a lot of like good K1 fighters. Right. And then they, like Brad was teaching that one o'clock class, which was good because he would teach all the shit from CKB. Eugene Behrman, the wow. guy who won Coach of the Year, because that was awesome. his coach in New Zealand, like That's Izzy's sick. coach. So it was good, because we were getting, From like, city boxing and shit. Yeah, 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 from city kickboxing. Yeah. So they were, like, known Jim of the Year, so yeah. we were getting the water, like, we were getting the secondhand yeah, yeah, that, smoke yeah, from yeah, them, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's fucking great, dog. But um, that guy, Fazeev, he could be the champ, dog. No, no, I don't no, think there's, 100%. there's no... There's he's an no, animal. He's, he's a fucking tank, dog. Animal and tough as they come, dog. The knockout of and, Rafael Dos Anjos, bro. No, no, that was, that was crazy. And 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 bro, he's built like a fucking like a tank, dog. Like a tank, born for it, dog. Yeah, the yeah, guy was born, born for it. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Like his yeah, body, yeah. yo. You yeah. seen him, yo? He's known for doing that. That he did that. He's known for doing this. He used to, yo. This guy comes from the, <laughs> hey, coming from nothing, dog. Yeah, he was yeah. talking about how he was living in Thailand, bro, fighting for 5,000 baht, dog. Oh, shit. Every week. Yo. What's that, like five bucks? Bro, $100, <laughs> and you got to give 20% to your coaches. So oh, you're getting shit. like. Like 80 yeah, bucks. Yeah, 70 you're walking bucks. around like 80 bucks, dog, and you're fighting Thai every week, bro, Fuck. to like survive, dog. He was. Yeah, he, just, he just does it for the. That's what you. That's what you that's, Grinding, dog. He just does it for the love of the sport because he's a badass, dog. He loves to fight. He wants to fuck people up. From Kyrgyzstan, dog. Those Is people, he that yeah, from yeah, Kyrgyzstan? From Kyrgyzstan, dog. Yeah. Anybody who's from the stand, country. dog. War torn countries, fucking dog. hard motherfuckers, yeah, yeah, dog. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what it is, yo. He's like, yeah, but uh, super athlete, dog. Yeah. I would like to see, like, just it's just whether or not he like his jujitsu. But yo, his jujitsu is mad good, dog. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yo, his fucking the, wrestling was amazing right now uh, against who? Uh, against Los Anjos. Come on, dog. Crazy. Los Anjos ain't no fucking slouch, nigga. He's the best. <laughs> Yo, one of the few people in Tiger I never tapped, dog. I yeah. never tapped that guy. Dog. Who, Dos Anjos? Or uh, Rafael, Rafael oh, yeah, Fazif. Nice. But he's got good banter, too, dog. What's so good about you, him? He's funny, dog. Is he? Is he? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're, you're just grappling. Huh? That's, that's your strong point? I'm a grappling base. Like, that's when I started with right. Enrico and shit. Yeah, yeah, Miami, yeah. Miami, dog. Yeah. And then, uh, he was a prodigy, I, bro. He was a prodigy, dog. Yeah. So when I first started training, that was like my base. And then at that time, dog, like 2009, 2010, like who, all the best guys were wrestlers. Like, yeah. Gray Manier. Like, everybody yeah. was taking you down yeah. and fucking you up. So I'm like, damn. The shit to learn is wrestling, you know? Yeah, it's like yeah. all those strikers are losing, yeah, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the tables turn. And that's, that's what I like to see. Now we're in the era of the striker. I'm yeah. like, oh, fuck. I should have yeah. done the striking, dog. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so my base was grappling. But, dog, my last five years have been like, I've really gotten into like, you know, like, I have decent power. So, like, I hurt people. But then I just, my natural instinct goes and I, yeah. and I wrestle, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but in my last few years, I've been getting like falling a little bit too much in love with the striking dog. Oh, uh, yeah. Which is maybe so bare knuckle dog, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but bare knuckle, bro. Especially with your record and your background, they give you a good paycheck, bro. That's what I'm saying, dog. I mean, and now, like, yo, getting now like 35, all right, maybe I'm not going to be the UFC champion, but now, all right, now let's just do all the martial arts now. Let's yeah. try to hit every yeah. sport. I did Muay Thai. Yeah. Maybe do like what you're doing, dog. That'd be kind of like motivation that, that, right that's, there. Yeah, you know man. Saying, I, I, I just, I want to, I want to look back and say, bro, I tried it all, dog. You know what I mean? I've done, I've done, I did new two or, yeah, in, two, in 2020, I did two new breed competitions too. I love jujitsu. Unbelievable, Got a dog. fucked up shoulder right now, so I haven't done no jujitsu in a while, but. No stone unturned, dog. Yeah. When yeah. it's all said and done, dog. Yeah. We kicked ass. Yo, <laughs> when they, when it's all said and done, bro, you're going to have no questions. Right, right, right. right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, that's right. amazing yeah, right there, yeah. dog. You're gonna I, I'm not, I don't regret the things I did. I regret the things I looked back and didn't do dog there you know you what go, mean? Dog. <laughs> and there's not gonna be much when you're done exactly, dog. You, exactly. you feel me i'm in the same path i'm right behind you dog. absolutely my brother absolutely Damn, dog. You, you got fights left on your contract for one uh yeah dog i got a uh, i got four more fights okay so i'm technically still contracted okay, okay
In Thailand, you have no choice. Had I the tiger, bro. I get back to Miami, bro, and it's like, it's like I gotta get away from <laughs> that, all my got, people I grew up yeah, with. Yeah, 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 you got, you got the, the eye of a borracho now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here drinking beers with my dad. I'm getting fucked up with my dad every That's night. That's awesome. God me and my dad are just partying, dog. Awesome. I'm, I'm sure, he, I'm sure he's loving it, man. I heard loving I'm sure it. dad's loving, loving it, dog. Yeah. So. Yeah. You're his only son? Um, I got an older brother, too, okay, dog. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So I, still I got a younger dog. sister. Yeah, yeah, oh, nice, dog. And nice, like, nice. we're like twins, dog. That's you know awesome. what I'm saying? That's awesome. Yeah, you'll meet him later, dog. He's over there in the other room. But, oh, um, nice. Yeah, dog. Uh, He's doing his own podcast over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna get an episode with him. I will do like a. Sports I have my dad. On, I have my dad on my show, man. No way, yeah, dog. My, my dad's a writer. He has uh like five, six, seven books written. He was like a New York Times bestseller. Uh, me and my dad. I never grew up with him, dog. You know, uh, but we'd see each other sporadically as I was coming up, dog. You know, um, great guy, great fucking guy. Uh, so I didn't talk to him for like five years, right? And then I get the knockout, right? The knockout. Reaches the world, dog. Reaches the world. It went around. My dad founded this newspaper that goes from Spain and all of South America. So the article reaches over there. When they see it, you know, I guess they have my name. My name is Ulysses Diaz de Villegas. So that's a not common name. So when he Strong saw it, like, what's the last name? Diaz de Villegas. Diaz, Diaz de, de Villegas. Villegas. Yeah. Diaz is your mom. De Villegas is your dad. No, no, no. Diaz de Villegas Diaz. is my dad. Diaz oh, is all one. Nice, it's, like, nice. it's fucking like Cuban royalty, dog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like gangster. slaves fucked some Spaniard back in the day. That's you know like, what you mean? got the slaves, the yeah. Spaniards. Everybody's yeah, in got, that yeah, My family's black, and 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 and, uh, and my mom's side's like the, the white part. So uh, the best of both worlds. Yeah, dog. best of both you worlds. And and then so that that reached Spain. Somebody saw the name. They emailed my dad, who's been living in LA for 22 years. So when I guess over there. And after five years, bro, my dad calls me. He's like, "Yo, congratulations, dog!" And we've have we've had the best relationship since then, dog. Yeah, great fucking a great guy. No way. Yeah, dog. dog. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. Don't mind me asking. So you never yeah. saw him? You never? You guys would keep in touch? Uh, nothing? No. Okay. So look. So as a kid, he'd come around. You know, but, but you know, I as you grow up, you find things out. You know, my mom was probably giving him a hard time back then. You know what I mean? In the eighties. So so. He got to a point where he's like, yo, and he's a, you know, he's a free spirit, dog. He was, you know, so he was like, yo, fuck this shit. I was getting too much of a headache. So he still come around. He, you know, he gave me a little shit here and there every couple of years. And then, I, and then, and then I lost track of him. And then as an adult, once I had kids, we started hanging back out. But it was always, I, I wasn't, I wasn't happy with myself, dog, right? And I was portraying. Yeah, you know, I was letting that out around people. So, so he was, he wasn't with it. He's like, "Yo, I, I, I can't stand your attitude, dog." You know, until finally now, I, I, I let all that shit go. You know what I mean? I let that, that got that monkey off my back, and now I'm, I'm me, and I'm very happy with, with, with life and where I'm at and with the people around me. So, uh, so now he sees me like this, and, and we're best of friends, dog. Wow. Yeah. You said you weren't happy with yourself, and then the way when you weren't happy with yourself, it made treating other people bad of course i feel like that happens yeah. to me sometimes of course it's, dog yeah it's crazy yeah. how you treat people is just a reaction of how you're doing huh? exactly absolutely it, it says uh what is it uh hurt people hurt people right exactly that's a fucking great saying that's a great saying hurt people hurt people dog it's amazing that you run your own show dog it, it, it takes a lot dog I, I, I wouldn't be able to do it oh man what we do what do you do yeah, dog, I'm trying, baby. You yeah, know yeah, saying? no, you're doing it, dog. You ain't trying. I was thinking about that song. Uh, I do that shit by myself. And <laughs> he's like, I remember when I had 100 views. I got 100 views right now, so I'm going to yeah. fucking do a screenshot nice. of that song when I'm making nice. this shit, you know? <laughs> hey, shout out to Amy White Lion, dog, the homegirl too, man. Bro, shout out to Amy White Lion. Shout out to G. Bro, yeah, G this for is all sure, people, yeah. dog. Yeah, for and sure. yo, that's yeah. when I met you. That, yeah. I'm, Thank Where'd you go to school? Right here, Sunset. Dog. I went right here in Sunset, okay. down the street, dog. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I went to Macmillan first. No, this undisclosed location, but oh, now yeah, you know it's by Sunset nah, High. Everybody knows. I'm, everybody knows I'm from Winston Park, dog. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying, that's G? It, baby. That's what's up, dog. They want to see me and you come here, dog. Yeah. I ain't no hiding, dog. <laughs> yeah, for real. That's awesome. <laughs> I've been doing the same that's shit awesome. at the same crib. You know what's funny? I used to live. I used to live in Elon on 132 in Kendall, across yeah, from McDonald's, right there, dog. behind the fucking uh, the uh, Flanagans. I used to live right there. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just right here, yeah, 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 dog. Elon, right? Fucking down the street. Oh my god, across the street, across yeah, the street, yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah, the little complex there, dog. Yeah, yeah, Yo, that twenty-four yeah. hour McDonald's is yeah, rowdy, right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. been rowdy, dog. <laughs> yeah. You catch it. And I worked, and and back in, in, in when and when when uh nine eleven happened, which was fucking yesterday. Shout out to nine eleven, everybody. You know, rest in peace, everybody that that you know didn't, didn't make it that day. Yeah, uh, I, I used to live. I used to work at this tire shop that's right here, dog. Behind McDonald's, there's a tire shop. I used to work there. 
Behind McDonald's is Tires Plus. Stuff. Tires Plus, dog. Yeah, more, yo, they be jacking everybody, dog. Yeah, it's like yeah, the yeah. most expensive yeah, yeah, shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. But they're right there. We, remember, they got this whole we, we, used to jack, we, we used to jack the tire truck. He used to come in, talk to the manager, and fucking we used to take all the tires. Ah, hell 20 yeah. years ago. The Miami Hustle, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I used dog. to work at the Outback down the street, yo. No shit. Yeah, no dog. Shit. We're all these shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How good, man. Dog, so did you feel like interviewing people, like, how good did podcasting make you with communicating with people? Um, a lot better, dog. But you know, I just use a skill that I've always had. In a okay, so you know, you start podcasting, right? You're, you're by number fifty, you said. So now yeah. you you got more of the hang of it. But like at the beginning, I I I'm a real witty person. Like I, I got a lot of comebacks. Like my jokes come off what you say. I don't like have a joke in my head. You'll say something and it'll remind me about some dumb shit, and I'll say it. That's why so, I said you'd be good at talking shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can yeah, tell. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like, yeah. So yeah. fucking so. So the thing is, the first couple of shows, I'm in my head while they're talking, thinking about shit, you know? And, and then I'm like, all right, fucking, as time passed, I'm like, yo, just calm down, shut up, L let people let people talk, you know, let her get it out. When they finish talking, you either ask your question or, re re I mean, uh, you know, listen to what they said and you come back and retort what they're saying. So now it's gotten so easy, dog. Now it's a conversation like this. You know what I mean? It's cool. I, I go there, it's relaxed. I like doing what I'm doing. We got cool people on, and, and I get to ask them shit that I wouldn't ask on a regular basis. If we go out to have dinner, I'm not going to ask you all this weird shit, and I'll have you where I can. You know what I mean? Like, yo, how do you do that? Why do you do this? You know, how would you get into this? And my show is about, which you're going to be on, dog. You're going to be on, because, you, you know, I, I love what you do, and I want you on. But um, I want to hear your story about how you came up as a kid, like little young Emilio, and how'd you turn into a one championship fighter, into a comedian? Like, what 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 got you to this point today? And then during the show, or I, like once we start ending the show, I like to tell people, all right, now if you got a, a Emilio looking at us right now, 15, 20 years ago, what can we tell him, dog? Well, you know, what what can we tell him to stay on the right track, dog? You know, and everybody. We've had ninety something shows. Everybody drops a good gem, dog. You know what I mean? Some might be repetitive because. Like me, like look, never it's never too late, dog. That's, it's not. I didn't make that shit up, dog. But when you look at it in my sense, you're like, damn, dog, really going you at 35, change your life around from from dealing drugs and robbing people and going to prison and being in and out of jail your whole fucking life to like when you're really turning it around, dog. It, it I even showed myself, it, and it's not not to bolster anything, but I even showed myself that it's not cliche, dog. If you really put your mind to some. And you really work hard, you know what I mean? And really just do the same thing. Consistency. N nothing beats consistency, dog. I don't care if you show up to the gym every day. You're getting your ass kicked every day, dog. It's going to be that one day that you show up and you're going to start kicking ass. And it's okay. I don't care who you are. That's how it goes. And I, I heard somebody say one time, that there was a guy who used to, he fried chicken. He, that's what he liked to do. He liked to fry chicken and fry chicken. And he fried chicken. And he got he, and the guy became Kentucky Fried Chicken, <laughs> you know? And, he, and he's killing it. So just, just do what you like over and over, dog. And, uh... And you'll get good at it. How lucky. And you found a passion that you really love, right? Passion. How much do you love found podcasting? Like, it's, it gives you good energy when you finish. It gives me episode, great right? energy. It gives, it gives me great energy, dog. I, I, I love it. I love putting people's story out there. And uh, look, look I'm, a, I'm a huge Joe Rogan fan. And I kind of, he's, he's said it a couple times. And, and I, I've always, like, you know, when people say something like, bro, that's how I feel. Like, he's like, bro, I don't even look at my shows. I just, you know, I do it. And I just let it live where it lives, dog. And one day I'm going to get, without me even knowing, I'm going to get the call, yo, we're booming, dog. They want to pay us or whatever, you know. But I don't do it for money, dog, which is the best part about it, you know. If you do anything, yeah, you got to be willing to do it for free, right? Exactly. Like, uh, exactly. And look, I, I love I love fighting. Fighting is my job. And they say anything that you, if you do what you love for a living, then you won't dare work a day in your life. And that's how I feel, you know. That's how I feel. That's amazing, dog. Thank you, dog. My man, yo, we're coming up on about an hour, man. That's been a lot of good chat. I'm trying to think of anything. Yeah, dog. So you got the next fight coming up. You got a uh, what date is it again? September. Sept September twenty third. I got a boxing match in uh, Miami Airport Convention Center it's for Revolta Boxing. Um, after that, from the only thing I know is I might go to DR like a week later and fight again, depending on this one. I don't want to overlook anybody. You never know. Um, but then December is bare knuckle down here in Miami. I met every bare knuckle Miami fight because we're big ticket sellers. You know, you know yeah, how it goes. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, promoter, sure. promoter, don't give a shit about you. He just he wants you to sell some tickets. You're gonna be at the Hard Rock for the bare knuckle. Do you guys know? What's I don't know. That? If it, I don't know if it's at the Hard Rock or I think it might. I th from what I'm hearing, it might be a Miami venue. I don't know what venue. I would love to fight at the at the, where the Heat play. You know what I mean? I, it's like a dream of mine. Yo, you jumped on the bare knuckle before they. Uh like you said you were like kind of early on, right? Yeah, yeah, the tenth one. Did you, one. Did you have a 10. feeling like where they are? It was like because they are like huge, bro. Let me tell you something, dog. That Hard Rock <sighs> fight that I went to for you, yeah. I've never seen a more lit fight besides yeah, yeah. the UFC. Yeah, yeah, no, they have a that great was pro production crazy, value. Crazy, dog. 
And it's the like you were saying, it's the most raw. Like, yeah. yo, there ain't gonna be no stirring them up, bro. No, no, no. Nobody's it's bored exactly of those fights. Exactly what everybody no, wants. No, nobody's bored of those fights. When those fights are happening, dog, everybody's watching, bro. There's not like you know, it's not like a boxing match where you're talking to your boy and you're eating and you're oh, and you look over, you're like, oh, right. no, no, this shit, you gotta be in tune because first of all, you you start three feet apart. So the action is immediately, dog, you know? Oh, my gosh. Yo, that's how you're able to get that fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nose to nose, dog. Let's paint, motherfucking. Let's go, dog. Yes, sir. Wow. And then, yo, talk about capitalizing, dog. That was a great way to put it. Like, yeah. you just... You took advantage of the situation, yeah. man. Yeah. And then the Don't Blink podcast came out of that. Yo. Yeah, out of that. Out of that. Because uh, I remember I was saying... Uh, I would tell people, hey, my fights are fast. Don't blink. So I would say that on, on uh, press conferences. And I was born for now. Oh, what do you mean? Don't, don't blink. And we made a, a dope intro for it and shit. Um, yeah, yeah that's been a blessing. The, the production is yeah. huge, man. Let, so you got people who do that for you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Two Nights does a lot of the production. And you know what, man? I got to give a, a, a huge, huge uh, corny shout out to my girl, my baby, my love, my wife, um, Ashley, you know, a.k.a. Dana Brooke on WWE. She's taught me a lot about the behind the scenes of the fight game. You know what I mean? Because she's been in the fight game for 10 years. With WWE and uh, and Brass a huge corporation that's bigger than UFC, bigger than any of this, and you know uh, people can say whatever they want about it. It's the real deal, dog. Those people are really busting their ass, you know what I mean? Um, but she's taught, taught me a lot behind the scenes, and that's why I got to capitalize when I got the knockout because I was with her and she told me, "Yo, let's get you a uh, uh, what's it called a PR, PR person, person, a PR a, uh, you know a PR person to get just get your name on." And very smart moves like that got me. You know, got me the little notoriety that I have. You know what they say, behind every great man. Great woman, absolutely. Great woman. Absolutely. Wow, how yeah. blessed, right? No, blessing, and, man. And who, who better would know how to deal with the media and the, and the people? like in the, Exactly. Wow, exactly. that you makes know. a lot of sense. Amazing, uh, amazing, dog. No, what a grind. How did you guys meet? Yo? Dog, so check this out. Uh, I was training with Yoel Romero for a UFC fight. I mean, not I mean, not for a UFC fight. For I, I had a Titan. No, I had a Titan fight. My bad. I, I had a Titan fight. And um, so the day of my weigh-in, uh, I wait in and we're on the way to go eat sushi and he's talking to her. They were friends. They knew each other. And uh, he tells, he grabs, he has, she's on FaceTime and he, he passes me the phone. He's like, hey, talk to this girl. So I'm like, all right, bro. I grab it. He's like, well, tell her where we're going. She's American. He's Cuban. Obviously, she, they don't even know how to speak to each other. Shit. <laughs> so she gets on the phone. I see her on FaceTime. I'm like, oh my God, you're beautiful. She goes, oh, thank you. I'm like, yeah. I give her the address. I don't think nothing of it at all. She's uh so you all told me she's on the way down. I'm like, all right, cool, but I, I'm, it's the day before a fight, dog. I'm in the zone. I you're eat about my, to fight. You're about yeah, to fight. yeah. I, I, I like put the post fight weigh-ins. Like your yeah, I'm at the after the weigh-ins. After I'm weigh-ins. eating. Yeah, yeah. So I'm eating. I leave and she hits me on a DM. She's like, hey, I came to see you guys and you left. I'm like, oh shit, my bad. I got a fight tomorrow. She's like, oh, can you get my friend a ticket? No problem. I got her friend a ticket. Then after the fight, she DMs me again. Oh, congratulations. And by that one, I'm like. I'm like, let me see what's up, man. <laughs> so I hit her back. Oh, what's up? You know, she's like, oh, I'm on the road. Well, can we, when can we meet? Oh, I'll be home in two weeks. So we kept talking over the phone for two weeks on FaceTime. You know how it goes, developing this little like middle school love affair yeah. over the phone. Like on the chat chat. Right, right. Like so we, 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 yeah, exactly. So when we finally got to each other in person two weeks later, it was like love at first sight, dog. And bro, we've never left each other's each other side, dog. Yeah. A couple months. We know we were together for a couple months. I moved her into my house. She's a, a great... Uh, great role model for my kids, you know. She's I'm an, an amazing person, dog. I, I got blessed, you know. Again, I'm not religious. I'm very spiritual. And I believe in God, and God put her in my life, dog. That's great, man. Yo, I, I believe in God too. I'm not. I, I would go to. I would go to church. I'm not against yeah, church. Yeah, I just yeah. don't go to any. You feel me? I, I'm not against church either. I just um. I, 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 Whatever, I don't feel like you have to do that to, to, exactly. to you know what I mean. I, I do go every once in a while. You invite me to church, I'm there. You know what I mean? With no problem. But I like to have my own relationship with him. You know, and just, I just I thank him for everything, dog. I, I feel grateful. I'm very humbled by everything that's happening, dog. And you know, I don't think I'm better than anybody whatsoever, dog. I just love my life and I love the way I'm living it. Uh, I love helping people whenever I can, whether it's giving you a word of good advice. Um, uh, pointing you in the right direction uh, Connecting you with somebody Which I'm great at I'm great at networking I'm great at connecting people With people um, I do whatever I can man. You know I had this homeless feed We were doing It's called Fighting versus Hunger We used to feed the homeless Once a month We did it all through COVID oh, that's awesome. um, uh, But just We haven't been able To do it lately We're gonna get back To it soon though I see Yo anything you do With the community Or anything like that Yo yeah. just let me know I'm gonna bring you If you on. ever need somebody you Bro I would love to I'm a, No I'm gonna bring look, you on 100% I got my, one of my things there I read this book um, No I was reading that That's, that's awesome dog yeah, you know, was, Be of service right Don't yeah. lie <laughs> You know what I'm saying yeah. Little things like that yeah. dog yeah. If you don't lie You don't gotta worry You know You don't yeah. get, you know, yeah. people get, I got anxiety yeah. It's like no, yo no, you got anxiety Yeah if, exactly And if you and if you, if you you just speak your truth dog They ain't got nothing they, Nobody can hang on Anything over your head That's it 
Yeah. That's it. You were saying about God. You know, I was, you know what I learned in that program that I've always used that's helped me out? Like, and you said it already. Good orderly direction, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. I feel like when I'm feeling good, dog, I think that's God, bro. Yeah. I think God is everything, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like, yo, when we're up, when I'm, when I wake up in the morning, if I wake up early, I put a good session, dog. Yeah. I make some, you know, I make some phone calls, I make a business call, dog. I'm feeling good. That's God, yeah, dog. Yeah, that's yeah. God's work. I, you know I, what I'm I totally like, agree. And I'll tell you that, that back in the day when I was doing wrong and if something good would happen to me, I would thank God. But then I would be like, oh my God, how long is this going to last for? You know what I mean? But now that I'm doing good, I never worry about how long it's going to last because I know I'm doing good. So good's gonna, God's going to repay me with good, dog. You know? Good things happen to good people people and that's how that's how you were saying yeah dog like we were saying before i think that now a little more clear that we've been talking like when you were saying before with uh that when you had that moment in yeah. colorado dog yeah. you weren't doing god's work i wasn't dog. and when you're not was, doing god's work you know it i was doing for something I, I, absolutely. I don't know and then i think like maybe the longer you do it the more i was you running with that. The, i was running it's with like, the devil dog 100 percent. and bro. that shit's in your ear and you always know it's weird how we always know yeah, dog yeah. in deep inside yeah. dog you yeah. know you always, you always, any and that's like, this goes for anybody though you know right from wrong at all times though you know but sometimes the wrong always the good but uh, you know, if you can turn your life around and, and start doing more good than you do bad, the, eventually that'll negate itself where you won't even do bad no more. You just like, ah, that shit ain't worth it, dog, you know? Yeah, for worth, sure, yeah. for sure, man. And that's the thing, like, yeah, once you see it, and, and, but it's hard to break that cycle. Yeah. So oh, you, hard, oh, you know what dog. I wanted to bring up here, dog? You, what were you Let's in? Uh, wait, because I agreed with you. You What were you and Danny Chavez uh, arguing about? Oh, uh, my God. I'm going to ask you right yeah, now, yeah, yeah, dog. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. my dog, bro. Yeah. Listen, I, <laughs> <laughs> bro how do you interpret fake it till you make it like, oh that's what, that's what it was 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 no okay so so let me go back because uh, i i heard what danny said i agree with danny as fighters we you can't fake fighting and shit like that but in your sense of what you're saying i do agree with you also because fake it till you make it to me is if i'm pissed off right now about something you'll never know Right, if something pissed me off, my girl, my uh, uh, anything, I lost a fight. Right, you know, you lose a fight, you got to come out and see the crowd. You got, you can't hang, hang your head. <laughs> Poor me, nah, dog. So that to me, and I'll use that example. I'll use that example. Look, I lost my last fight against, uh, you know, world title fight. My second shot at it, you know, maybe my my last shot at it because I'm getting old, dog. You know, I don't know how many more shots I'll get at this, dog. So. Damn, I'm down, dog. You know, you're in the background. You're, you're getting fist up in the back. And you know how it feels, bro. You, you feel like shit. You let down your people. Like, you, you you get anxiety when you look at your phone with a bunch of messages. You're like, bro, I don't want to read this shit right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. But what happens? Now you got to come outside and fake it till you make it, dog. You got to be happy. You got to show your people. You got to tell them you love them. And, oh, it's all right, dog. You know, he got me, bro. What, 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 what can you do? And so that's what I interpreted it as, dog, as, as, as not putting your problems on other people so if you are pissed off about something like fake it till you make it and and bro you know what you'll dig yourself out of it but i agree with danny danny you can't fake fighting absolutely not but that has nothing to do in the sense that you said it yeah all right <laughs> so like i think he thinks fake it till you make it is all right but then here's what, all right he thinks that yeah you can't fake fighting 100 right, right. but what i was trying to tell him is that like yo you can't fake fighting dog but what i mean is like all right, you're not gonna be UFC. You're not the UFC champ. Maybe you're one and zero, or maybe you're zero and zero, and right. you're about to make your first right. fight. But feel and like you're the champ. Feel like you're the champ. Are you gonna go to the weigh-ins? And your coach asks you how you feel. You're gonna be like, oh, I'm a little bit nervous. Your coach can be like, Oh, that's normal. Yeah. You're not gonna go to the weigh-ins and be like, Oh, shook in front of your opponent, yeah, dog. Yeah, Even yeah. though you might be like, This is crazy. Yeah. Or in your head, you're like, I'm out yeah. of shape. I don't know if I'm ready. You yeah. can be thinking everything yeah. in your head, but when you look at that guy in the eyes, you're like, I'm gonna get this. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. That's fake until yeah. you make you it. Know, dog. No, and you know what too? Like, like, look, dog, you stepping on stage right now for your first couple times doing comedy, you got to have that confidence in yourself that you don't really have yet dog but you gotta fake it till you make it and uh, and, and show and you, and the people out there watching you be like oh damn this, this dude is confident as hell and really inside you're like bro I'm dying you know what I mean but, but you, gotta, you gotta fake it till you make it on, on, on those uh, exactly, certain aspects dog. Another one too is like imagine your first day at work, like if you're a server in a restaurant or something, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't be, and you told, man, what if you told the boss, yo, you're like, yo, yeah. I've worked in four other restaurants, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. the first day. You better fake it till you make it, dog. <laughs> you're gonna be in the weeds, dog. You know, you're not gonna know, of course, yeah. dog. But then you just yeah. act like you know, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly, absolutely. Roll with the punches, but I know what he meant. But he's just taking a little bit. I think it's just a little bit literal, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's true, dog. Listen, yeah. if you're fake your whole life, you're gonna eventually yeah, you get yeah. exposed, yeah, dog. Yeah. You know, and even no, at the highest level, dog. Yeah, yeah, no, but but I agree with Danny there. Like fighting, there is no faking it till you're making a fight because you <laughs> when that cage door locks bro there's no yeah. there's no unless lines. you're the baddest fighter in the world you're faking like if you're a piece of a tra i can you know what i mean if you're faking, you're just coming through mopping everybody up yeah you gotta be you, you need to get some fights dog. Yeah. so you know what i'm saying yeah my brother yo do you watch ufc's I, oh, of course. I just, I, 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 matter of fact, me and uh, my boy Francisco Ritchie, dog, we have a little tradition where every fight night, whether it's boxing or or MMA, we just did UFC. 
We uh, we come to my house. We watch it from the first fight. From the first fight, really from the main card because it was the prelims. We'd be it'd be too crazy. But the first fight, I'll be like, um, all right, you you pick the first fight. Who do you who do you like to win? No, I like this guy. All right, so whoever you take, I'll take the other guy for twenty five push ups. And from there we go twenty five, fifty, seventy five, one hundred, one hundred twenty five. Oh, uh, you guys yeah. are grinding, dog. Grinding, yeah, yeah, grinding. You guys are grinding. Yeah, dog. and and it's not way. and it's not like you don't get to pick the favorite. Like it, it, we we alternate. So you get to pick this fight. Who do you like? I'll take the other guy. Then the next fight, I get to pick first, and you have to take the other guy. Yeah. yeah okay. So yeah. yeah so then you kind of like exactly. You don't have even, a choice. You exactly. Know? You just exactly, pick what you want. Exactly. So a lot of times you yeah. probably pick the same people exactly. every time. No, dog, and you know? it, yeah, no, not only that, you you'll pick the favorite, dog. You know what I mean? Like no, I'll pick the guy. Who's minus a thousand? Yo, you ever sports bet? I do a little bit here and there, dog. I, you know what? So listen, I got DraftKings. I was in New York at the at the Bare Knuckle Hall of Fame. They gave me a, a badass award for the three second knockout. I was up there and I was in a hotel room and it was a UFC fight. So I, I got DraftKings. Got it, boom. Because in Miami, you can't play on DraftKings. Yeah, right. You need like a VPN or something. Yeah, yeah. So I was in New York. I, I, I did it in New York. Came back home. Couldn't play. So I called my boy in Colorado and told him, yo, here's my passcode. I need you to put these bets in for me. Did that. Then I went to Mississippi, right? I was supposed to fight in Mississippi, so I was there. I went to my DraftKings, and it locked me out because it says that your your uh, your geo geographical thing is is. They got you. Yeah, it got me, it got me, dog. No I way. tried to outsmart DraftKings, but they cut yeah, my nuts off. <laughs> so dog. I still got like a hundred and something dollars, and now I got to take out some out. Damn, I bet once, dog. I bet when I went to Vegas. Oh yes, yeah, so I'm went not to- a good better, dog. I'd rather throw money away than lose it betting. Yeah, me neither, dog. Yeah. The first time I bet on MMA was when I went to UFC for the for, for Brad for oh, Volkanovski. Nice. You put money on him, for and I sure. put money on Brad, but he lost like right away, like in the first fight. Uh, My boy Brad fought that guy Jalen Turner. Okay, he got choked right away, but that guy Jalen yeah. Turner's no joke. Yeah, dog. that guy's yeah. gonna be good, man. But yeah. uh. Yeah, they had good fights this weekend, dog. Yeah. Nate Diaz, they had the Oski Woski turn yeah, up and yeah, shit, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, yeah. I didn't realize it was 9 the 11 OGs. yesterday. Yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I, you know, I did comedy. I, I didn't even think about it. Like, no, did you? Where'd you yeah, go? Yeah, I went to this place called Teas and Poets. Oh, it's in that? Sunset Place, dog. Oh, nice. Okay. This is crazy. I was like, yo, I used to hell raise out here when I was a dog. kid. Now I'm out yeah. here telling you. Bro, jokes, next time dog. you go, please let me know. I would love to go. I was going to tell you, dog. Yo, put together something, bro. And I, I want to get you on stage like these guys. Let's go. Say, I do. I, I, gotta, I, do it, I, I got a couple. Of, I got like, I got a ton of fucking little one liner dumb jokes, dog. You know what I mean? Bro. You know what? You know what? I, <laughs> you know what? I, one of the ones I said on stage at, uh, at this place, I go, um, uh, wait, what was it? Uh, fuck. Oh. What's the wait wait what is it? Oh, oh oh no no what's the hardest thing about rollerblading? What's the hardest thing about rollerblading? What's that? Telling your parents you're gay. <laughs> Free booters, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever no, skate and shit in school? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, oh, dog. Of course. Snap, dog. Yo, that's from, yeah, because you're the same ever as me, dog. Yeah, yeah, you know? dog. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. That's a good era, dog. Like was. Miami fucking yeah. gang ever, dog. Mid nineties, yeah, yeah. Street, yeah, yeah. Streets, yeah, yeah. Streets, dog. Yeah, I really started blowing up when I got to middle school. I remember. I remember Going that to the time. Grove. Yeah. Loser laps in the Grove. I, remember oh. I forgot who you're talking about in the pocket, dog. Going to just yeah. the Halloween that was in the, the Grove, hangout. dog. Exactly. Yeah. That was, yo, oh, how many, did anybody die or did every, every year I, I, people die? I you, yeah. We used to. <laughs> we just didn't people, have, there was no only in date back then. Yeah, so no, 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 yeah. no social media, thank God, bro. We would have not, none of us would have made it. We would have never survived, dog. What yeah. a weird world with the social media. Yeah, it is. Damn, you got young. How old are your kids, bro? Um, I got a 21 year old daughter and I got a nine year old son, dog. Wow, and they're yeah. like, how does your nine year old have social media? Uh, he does. I okay. So when he was born, one of my boys opened up uh, uh, an I, IG. So he's had an IG night for nine years, as long as he's been alive. But he doesn't run it whatsoever. But uh, he's he's into TikTok. He loves TikTok. He loves little dances. You know, nice playing tackle football. He boxes good as hell too. I had him in wrestling. Yeah. He's a big boy, dog. Yeah, I, seen big dog. I, I couldn't when you told me he was nine. Him and my nephew, the they're both. My nephew's also nine. Oh, well, actually, Bush and my nephew just turned ten years old. Uh, they're six months apart, dog, and they're like they're like brothers, bro. That's dope. And yeah. He's playing ball. He's they're playing football. Uh, yeah, they, for they, Kaylan, they're five and zero. Shout tackle? out to Kaylan. Yeah, they're five and zero, dog. Yeah, that's what's up. That's yeah. amazing, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you and. Um, they must be proud of you, bro. Fighting now, they are. They are. The they, work, are they are. They're very proud of me. It, you know? My 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 nephew. I catch him all the time watching YouTube fights of me and shit. It's it's dope, man. It's really good. It's really That's cool. Good, really humbling. I love it, man. It's the best, man. And yo, and, and, and the thing is, when I tell them, like, look, they play football. I'm like, yo, we gotta, like, you know, you gotta put in work. You wanna be the best, dog? You gotta put in work, dog. You know, and they listen because they're like, all right, I see my my uncle doing it. My my dad doing this, you know. They see you training, putting it in, dog, yeah. and it's going to be extra motivation, you know? Like, that's going to be the best role model, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. It's weird, though, man. Like, you were saying, like, like, you know, you didn't have a dad, but I have a lot of friends, bro, that didn't grow up with fathers, but sometimes... 
It's weird. Like you can end up in the street, and then for it's like, and then sometimes it goes the opposite way. Too, yeah, dog, yeah. You know? Look, I, 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 I ended up in the streets because I put myself there, right? Like I said, my mom was working a lot, dog. So I, I stepped out and found things I liked on the streets, dog, and I, and I spent a lot of my time on there. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, you, you know, obviously, yeah, there, there is, you know, you, people. It don't matter where you have a dad or not. You could you could find another route, dog. I just I just stuck to the route, and and my friends were my family, because I you know I grew I got I have a sister. She's ten years younger than me, so I didn't grow up with her really, dog. You know what I mean? So my friends were my, yeah sense. exactly, especially when, when she's ten and you're twenty. You know what I mean? Oh my God, you're already yeah. fucking <laughs> fighting. Yeah, yeah, I got kids. I got there. kids already, bro. Yeah, yeah. At 20 years young, old, I got dog. two kids, dog. Yeah, yeah, dog. Whatever, though. You got it out of the way, dog. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, so now, yeah. you're, exactly. now you're chilling, bro. Yeah, now you're chilling. the cool dad, chilling. dog. Yeah, At first, chilling. it was rough, but now you're the cool dad. Chilling. You know trying to have saying? another one, my baby, now. Oh, there yeah. you go, man. Oh, all the best, bro. Yeah, thank you, brother. I'm, that's, my, that's my next mission, dog. I'm a little, I might be done with fighting, dog. Yeah. Get me a nice little girl. Get some babies. I want to move out to a Most important thing is get you a good woman first, dog, before you have a kid. You don't have a kid to have headaches, dog. That's what everybody says, dog. I was with a chick, dog, and. Thailandese girl? Asian girl, okay, you know what I'm okay. saying? But uh, like, yeah, dog. I was just gonna do it just to do it, you know. I was like, oh, I'm getting old. I'm just gonna make some yeah, babies, yeah, dog. Yeah, but then everybody was like, don't do that, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> you ever seen this this show called uh, Fuck? What is it? Ninety Day Fiance. I love that shit, Me dog. Too. That's my show, dog. <laughs> and go. Even my ex love that shit too, dog. Oh, I used you to gotta watch before the ninety days. That's it's got, it's the got ninety days. Fiance, before the ninety days, fucking. I awesome. love the dudes, dog. And I, I, sometimes I feel bad bro, for some of these people. I told dog. my girl, I'm like, this shit's gotta be fucking scripted. Dog. These people are out of their mind, dog. It's crazy, dog. <laughs> but you know, too, bro. But it's everybody's looking for love, dog. Yeah, yeah. And like we say, dog, hurt people, hurt people, yeah, bro. But yeah, like, yeah. they're dog. Yeah, those yeah, ones yeah. makes you grateful, bro. I tell <laughs> you does. what, dog. It does. I feel like, oh, I lost my last two fights. And it's yeah. like, yo, yo, relax, Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah. There's you a lot more shit going on, dog. <laughs> <laughs> There's a war in Ukraine right yeah. now, bro. Too. Yeah, there you go, dog. <laughs> but yo, I know if anything, if anything, I got that good passport, dog. So yeah, you, you know, yeah, yeah, absolutely. If a girl needs to get married for a green card marriage, dog. I'll, I'll <laughs> jump go. on the 90 Let's day fiance, dog. <laughs> Wait, well, let me ask you. We're living in Thailand for eight years. You had to come back and forth for your residency? Oh, my God. That was a mission? Bro, that was the thing that my last two years in Thailand was like a game changer, bro. Like, it was like finally good. Yeah. Were okay. you there for fucking COVID too? I was there for COVID. And that dog. was bad over there for COVID. It was bad. Because that's like the Wuhan. Order. It was bad. And it was close, dog. Yeah, and at first I thought it was both. Yo, so all the Chinese people were going to Thailand. There's oh, a lot shit. of Chinese people in Thailand. Yeah, that's like, like the tourists. Miami for, for Asia. It's like the, yeah. Oh, yes, dog. Yeah, 100%, bro. Yeah. You guys had your Ron DeSantis over there too. Yeah, dog. Ron DeSantis like, we're not fucking closing, dog. Yeah, fuck, fuck Yo, those masks. I want to get Ron DeSantis on the podcast. Yeah, like, for I sure. I wonder if you'd come to Kendall. Bro, I would dog. love to have that guy on. Yo, you guys, yo, we got, yo, what? To the, hood of, to the hood of Kendall, like uh, oh. A-Rod said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be like, I'm going to get my private security, dog. Yeah, for real. Yo, Kendall made me gangster, bro. Yeah, I love yeah, it, dog. Yeah, for real. That's real, that's real dog. <laughs> yeah, but, oh, man. Um, fuck, I forgot what we were talking about with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for, with COVID and, and fucking. Uh, I was training with all these Chinese people, bro. I got lucky, dog. I went to New Zealand. Just before when oh, it was already happening, it got happening, crazy. It got crazy over there too. It was no, but I was like, I was in the airport and they were saying, if you've been to China, like check go to this line. Oh shit! I got back from New Zealand, and everything got locked down, dog. Damn. But like I, oh, we were talking about that before. Man, it's crazy because uh, I made that j everything closed down. It was crazy, but it made, I became an entrepreneur, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The hustler, bro. The hustler you came out. That's, that's, what, that's what they brought out. <laughs> that's what COVID brought out. Brought out the hustler, dog. I got into the grinder business, bro. Nice. You know what I realized, dog? I was fucking hanging out with this kid, dog. A foreigner and into the grinder business, dog. I, this guy, I have a grinder in my house, dog. And this guy's like, Yo, I need a grinder. And I'm like, Yo, you don't have a fucking grinder? He's like, No, nah, bro. And I'm like, Oh, I just realized these guys are all tourists, dog. Yeah, so tourists not gonna bring their grinder and yeah, yeah, smoke yeah, shit to fucking course. have. So you're like, I went on Amazon, sell? dog, and I got a bunch of grinders. I ended up selling grinders for like five times the market no price. Shit. On, I got on, on Alibaba, and shit? I got it for Ali, I got it on um, on the on Lazada, I got it on the Thai <laughs> Alibaba, dog. You know what I'm saying? I got it from like one of those sites, got a hundred for 25 cents each, dog, for like for like 50 cents. <laughs> Each, bro, and I got into the grinder business. I became an entrepreneur, dog. You know. Let's go. And then uh, we started the we started Honey Badger Hour that year. Jan oh, nice. January. Okay, and nice. We had a lot of steam, bro. We were rolling, dog. The numbers were getting good. When do you drop this? I don't know, dog. I'm gonna think now. I'm playing with the algorithm now. Yeah. We used to drop you gotta on get Sunday. You got to get consistent to have an algorithm, dog. Stay I, consistent, dog. I just, that's why I'm going to hold this episode, dog, because I just fucked up my algorithm. I was oh, releasing on Monday. I released my boy Chris on Monday. Okay. And then I fucked up, dog. I had it. I had it to release at eight in the morning, but my my computer was off the time,
Damn, that, that was my most important thing in my head. It was like, I gotta, it's got to be where you can count on it. Because if you miss people, you know, the, the, it's so everything's so fast nowadays that if you miss one week, people forget about you. It's crazy, dog. It's crazy. And we, yeah, like that, I'm trying to build the algorithm now. We were going good. Like when we first started, I was like, oh shit, 150. And then sometimes you get excited. We would get excited and we'll put another episode. Yeah. We're like, yo, we're the king of you. Yeah. Let's keep, we're going to podcast every day. I'm like, oh yeah. shit, the more you do it, the less it was going. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, we're, cut, we're, we're fucking, we're, you're, we're, you're watering yourself we're down. We're watering our yeah, shit yeah. down. So then we went and I'm like, ah, oh, we fucked up the algorithm because then yeah. we did like a random episode on a Thursday. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Brought yeah, it back, yeah. rebuilding again. Now I finally had it going, dog. I did my first one in Miami, 140. Like, it's, and then I released one yesterday. I tried to move my day to Sunday. And I fucked it up again, dog. Uh, so I'm gonna move it to yeah, Monday. So I'm gonna yeah. try to do like Mondays is gonna be the drop day. I yeah, think. Monday morning. Man, you know? Monday's good. We do Tuesday nights. You know, you know, Tuesday people. Night, are, does yeah. it, you think matter night as long as it's like I, eight I, o'clock, I, right? I, I don't care. The thing is, like our shit, our shit premieres, right? So it has like if you go on, on YouTube at like seven twenty nine, it's like a countdown. And your I did, show, yeah, I've done, you know, I've our seen show it. comes on kind of like a, like a TV show. It has the same fucking you know beginning. It's it's dope. I did the I did the premiere yesterday for like yeah. a six thirty yeah, that I had yeah, already. Yeah. But it's fun, dog. Learning how to edit and shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. And learning how to speak, yeah. dog. It looks know? cool, dog. I just need more and more patience for that, dog. Nah, nah, know? get into it, bro. I'm telling you, and it's gonna like learning a new language, you know. know. Especially and for look, us, and look at the the reels now on Instagram are like paying people are saying. Yo, did you you can get paid? You know that you can I know, get paid I know, on, the, on I know, Instagram, I know, dog. Boy, you know Shorty Torres, that's my guy. Yeah, I don't yeah, know him, but yeah, I see my guy. Did he show you how to do it? No, well, yeah, he did. He did it, but you have to go. I forgot what it was. Two nights was telling me because I told him. If you hey, got look, the check, for sure you can yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, it's a, there's like an extra thing. I, I forgot what it was. There's like a catch to it. I got demonetized. I was putting mad. I, I wasn't ineligible, dog. I was posting mad crazy shit for hey, a while. You, and I was like, I'm sorry. I'll never get out of line. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking communist, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know yeah. how to keep you in line yeah, quick, dog. Yeah, I would no. never. I was like, okay, I'm yeah, sorry. Look at Andrew Tate. Banned. Banned, dog. He ain't done nothing wrong. That's dog. crazy. I'm telling you, bro. Like, yo, we can start a cult like Andrew Tate, just a little bit more nice, dog. We're just yeah. gonna be so crazy, like, yo, does your wife? What does your wife say about what he says? Like, what do, uh, like another woman? Because I haven't talked to. Him um, I, honestly, like, like I said, dog, I, I've never heard him. Like, be, I saw his final statement. I saw the whole final statement. Be, besides that, I've never really heard him say anything, except some snippets that he put on where, you know, he talks about women, and, and but he makes sense. Like, yo, women. Now watch, I'm gonna get fucking nah, booted. Nah, nah, right? nah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Cause like yo, but, the truth but, hurts, like, will set you free. And I know yeah, yeah, but he's like, look, comedy, wi- women aren't like you know. Would you call? Are you gonna call a woman to help you move a move, or are you gonna call your homeboy, dog? You know what I mean? Like just shit like that. Like, that makes sense, dog. You know. When you say that, with the the world, the world's problems could be solved by if you put a woman's body count on her head. <laughs> <laughs> a woman's body counter yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. what do you mean what do you like mean how many dudes i guess how many dudes like on oh <laughs> yeah wait, wait, so, so people know <laughs> yeah that's crazy right like my boy says yo they're that's not hilarious. yours they're not yours you're just borrowing like women yeah. aren't yo, you're not yours you're just borrowing them for yeah. the time right? Ho- hopefully mine's mine for the rest of my life <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real, i think the thing is too dog like look my girl my girl's young my girl's uh, 30 in her early 30s uh i'm 41 um but but we're both like like i'm i'm already you know, I've like again, dog. I I grew up thinking that that cheating on women was cool. You know what I mean? So did that for a long time, and now at at the stage of my life, I'm like so, I'm so happy, dog. That how life is, dog. That I would never do anything to fuck it up like that, dog. You know? But you gotta get to that stage, dog. You gotta go through certain shit to get there, dog. You know what I mean? Um, but thank God I'm there now, bro. I'm chilling, bro. I you, you know like another best thing is like, dog, your girl could get your phone and you ain't like <laughs> you're fucking. It's gotta be the next level of feeling, dog. Listen, my next one, dog. That's how I wanna be, dog. Yeah. Listen, I admire to be like that, and thank like, you. yo, this is why I'm like I'm a little bit older now, and I'm in the same boat. I'm single now, and I'm like, yo, I'm gonna walk the line, dog, with yeah. the next because. And I think being from Miami, I don't know, like, same thing, dog. We don't know. That's the way we're, I yeah. think everybody from Miami, we're all, yeah. we're not raised to, like, like, yeah. yo, my boys from England and Australia, they're like. Gentlemen and shit, right? Yes, yeah, bro. Yeah, and dog, like, if a dude, steps, a, if a dude steps yeah. out with his girl, they're like. And, yeah. I, and I remember when I first started hanging out with these guys, I'd be like, they'll be shitty on guys who, who. Stepped out on their girls. Stepped out on their yeah. chick. And yeah. they'd be like, oh, and I'm like. And they're calling each other lads. I'm like, what do you mean, dog? You guys aren't homies. Uh, yeah. Homies protect each other, you know? Yeah, yeah. But then I was like, oh, it's like the real gentleman, yeah, 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 dog. Exactly, like, exactly, respect exactly. for yeah, the woman, exactly, dog. Exactly, exactly. Because people see you out, and yeah. then it's like, what do you, you know? Oh, it's, it goes deep, bro. It does, it does. And it does. 
you need to get it out. And I think it's a Miami Hispanic, bro. It's in our DNA, dog. It, it is, man, dog. Yo. It is. It is. It is, dog. It is. And like I said, dog, you you grew up uh, thinking that's a cool thing to do, bro. You know what I mean? And the more girl you, the more girls you could get, the cooler you fucking are, bro. You know. You grew up thinking that's a cool thing to do, dog. Yeah, yeah. And then the older you get, they realize the cool thing. You're is a scumbag, nice, bro. Dog, <laughs> a scumbag. You realize yeah, yeah. you're a scumbag. Yeah, you're being and all scummy. the guys you thought were herbs, and yeah. then I'm like, I wish I could be like, you know, Alex Volkanovsky. Yeah. He's married to his high school sweetheart. That's dog. awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, fucking guy's like a champion and everything. Like it's crazy, dog. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, fucking, I, 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 I love that dude's attitude, bro. He's bro, a fucking great guy. He's the nicest guy, dog. That's he's awesome. like. Like yo, you see, you, he's like, he's like, how you kind of present, like why you're so nice, yeah. you know? Because you got like this image, you be like, oh, what the fuck, you know? Like, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like the nicest dude, that's how he, like, he's I the know. nicest. You no, never he, know he he's seems a champ, it, dog. He comes across, he, he comes across well. He speaks very well, dog. And and on top of everything, he's a champ, dog. You know? He's a champ, dog. Undisputed, undis, un, un, bro. Un, now he's uh, the goat, dog. Yeah, I don't is, know the word. Is. I'm, I'm running is. out of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Undisputed. Yeah, I'm the same way. I do comedy, dog. But sometimes I be on my podcast and people are talking. I'm like, wait, what the fuck was I gonna say? Oh, that just happened to me right now when you were talking, dog. I, I remember you were saying that. It's crazy interviewing, right? This is yeah. good because, like, today I'm glad. Yo, you know when I saw you, I was like, I need to get a few practice episodes. Yeah, like, yeah, I had yeah. the blind guy, yeah, I could yeah. fuck it up yeah, with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro, Danny, and, and, Danny's and, my boy. No, and really, dog. Listen uh, again, bro. It's like I told you. I, I I used to put myself under, and I still do every once in a while. I put myself under a lot of pressure, and then once I'm like. <sighs> Let's calm down, dog. Just talk. Wait, you fuck up. I stutter all the time and shit, dog. I, 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 get, I, I get stuck on my words, dog. You know, like, who gives a fuck, bro? Just, just talk, bro. And, you yeah. know, and, and then if, if it's real bad, like, tell your homie, oh, I need you to edit that, dog. You know what I mean? But if not, just let it ride, dog. That's it, dog. Yeah, for sure. And bro, listen, sure. the people who are gonna talk shit about you are the people who are doing less than you, dog. There's nobody that's doing better than you that's gonna talk shit about you, bro. Preach yeah. on that, dog. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> worth anything talks shit, right? Nah, bro. Nobody doing nobody doing anything, dog. Taking care of their family, doing their job, fucking going to work on a consistent basis is out there talking shit about you. They got no time for that shit, dog. Nah. They're actually praising you when they see you, like, yo, I love what you're doing, bro. Keep it up. The scumbags that aren't doing shit with their life and aren't happy with what they're doing are gonna be like, oh, this guy does this, this guy does that. Go eat a bag oh, of dicks, man. Oh, this guy, you this your podcast, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you think you're this, you think that. I don't think anything, dog. I think I'm me and I do me and, and go eat a dick, bro. <laughs> this is so good. I need to hear this, dog. I've been posting jokes on Instagram, on yeah, YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to People get People take them personally money. sometimes, right? Dog, I posted if, a if joke. The, if, the, if, the shoe, if the shoe fits, wear it, dog, you know? I posted a joke <laughs> on YouTube and it was probably going to be my most viral joke. I'm talking about I posted it and then I disappeared and I come back. I had like 250 likes, but I had like five comments, like talking shit, like, yo, this guy looks mad funny. Like, yo, this guy's laughing at his own jokes. He yeah. looks mad awkward. Yeah, definitely weird energy. Yeah. And then it's like, yo, I got all crazy and I deleted it, dog. Ah, I fucking did one, do it. dog. They like, won, bro. Listen, and then listen. I'm talking to you and it's like, Fuck, you, you you gotta you gotta i started doing this too like uh i heard it from like brandon Schaub and joe rogan like just post and don't even go back and look at it dog. post and ghost dog post and ghost and just we don't worry about it and then you post the next one don't even worry about it dog because listen i i got this from joe rogan too you have a thousand beautiful comments everybody's showing you love and you're the best and you're a badass and you're uh, hilarious and then you have that one dickhead says one thing out of a thousand comments and that's the only thing you can't you, you can't fucking let go of Yo, and, and that then guy it ain't makes worth you shit. Crazy, and, it's, and, and it's a page with like zero followers. And it you know might what not I mean? even be a person, dog. <laughs> yeah, you're fighting with people it's that don't bot. exist, dog. I'm like, yo, this motherfucker, dog. You know, I'm yeah. getting, my, yo, getting stressed. Yeah. Then a the fighter comes out. You're like, bro, come on, dog. Just show up at my gym, please. Yeah, 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 <laughs> it's crazy, dog. It's amazing. Like, you act like you don't care what people think, but it's yeah, hard not yeah, to, dog. True, right? That's that's the hardest battle for sure, man. It's true, especially for like I'm a type of person. I like to I like to try to make everybody happy, dog. You know what I mean? So definitely. But you're a doer, and when you're a doer, dog. Yeah. You fucking think, and when you're a thinker, dog, that's what it is too. That's like it, you were saying, that when you overthink, it works for our yeah, advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not you think you worry I'm about like, too much. I'm you know? constantly, dog, million, million thoughts oh a minute, my God, bro. Bro, I'm like, sometimes I message somebody, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's crazy how yeah, that yeah. works, dog. Yeah. <laughs> anxiety, dog. Yeah. Even when I'm doing God's work, I'm talking shit, dog. I still get that shit. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> bro, I get in my own head. I remember when I saw you, dog. I want to like. Sometimes I want to ask people to do the podcast, but yeah. I don't want to waste them for their time. Yeah, and shit, yeah. Dog. No, no, no. You gotta be. You gotta be like that. That's something that guy was like that too. Like, oh, I don't want to be like like bothering them, dog. You know, I'm like, nah, but now, uh, and now, like, especially like yours too, dog, you, you're far enough, you're 50 in, uh, you know, this is what you do, this is what you, and this is where you want to kind of lead your life from fighting to this, dog, so you just got to be like, hey, look, man, I got a podcast, check it out, uh, whenever you got time, just make it happen, dog, you know? That's it. And, and, then, and like, and like, look, like, like yours, dog. I, I, bro, I would, it
I just talking. And speaking, dog. Yeah. See, like, isn't that, you're looking at how, like, you're doing something that it could be, like, a little bit like a mission. Like, oh, you got to show up. You know, you have yeah. to get in traffic over here. You got a family yeah. and shit. Yeah. I got you coming over to Kendall. No, but dog. I was excited but, to come over, though. Yeah, <laughs> me too, dog. I was, yo, I couldn't even eat. I was like, yo, I want to, I, I, I was going to make a little paper, but I was like, fuck it, I'm going to try and freestyle it. I think, we, I think we're hitting it all, dog. Yeah, you sure, know what I'm saying? Sure, fucking sure. Miami fucking Vibe, classics, baby. bro. <laughs> yeah. It's good, man. Has that fan hitting you? It is, dog. I'm perfect, right. my brother. I'm perfect. Dog, yeah. I bought a fucking everything. I I bought like I, I look like a grow light. You, yeah. you, got, you got a fucking <laughs> you got a little indica under that light. I'm, I'm cooking you right now, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, bro. It's a fucking confessional yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna come out the podcast one slide, dog. You're gonna be like, damn, you know where you're at. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we got the new sign and shit. Yo, but we're gonna wrap it up soon, doggy. Yeah. Yo, uh, what advice would you give? I know you do this too, but yeah. like for the people, dog. What? Would, oh man, let's. What advice would you give for anybody that's coming up, dog? Or how about this? It's never too late, dog. What advice would you give for somebody right now who feels they're too old, it's too late, like they're down on their luck, dog? Like, what advice would you give somebody to, like, maybe they're like, yo, they just got out of jail, dog. They're living under on house arrest. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to put their shit together but and have a lot of ideas. Like, what is it that made you put it together, dog? Because it's like, you know what I'm talking about? Or, dog, so yeah, yeah. yeah. I, dog, I've been through it all, right? Uh, I've been through it all. I've been hurt uh, emotionally, physically. I've had surgeries. Uh, I've been on house arrest, like you said, right now. Um, you know, been to prison, been been everywhere. I've knocked myself as as low as I could get. And uh, I think one big thing that helped me again it's gonna sound cliche, and you've heard it a million times, but one day at a time, one day at a time, dog. You can't worry about tomorrow, and yesterday's already gone. So today, while you're here. Every step you 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 can you could do, make it a better one. You know what I mean? Just move forward, and then tomorrow it gets easier, and the next day it gets easier, and uh, and consistency. So one day at a time, and stay consistent. So the next day you do the same thing, and then and then bro, one one day you wake up and you find yourself in a rhythm, and and for some people it's faster than others, dog. You know, some some people might take a couple of days, some people might take a couple of weeks, some people might take a couple of years, dog. Yeah. But uh, but stay consistent, man. You know, um, uh, uh fucking. Own up to your actions, dog. If you're fucking up, you don't notice it. Damn, you know what? I'm fucking up, dog. I need to turn this around. And uh, and again, stay consistent, dog. You know, and 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 it's never too late, dog. It's something that's why I named the movie that is because that goes for anybody. Whether you're 22 and you think you're too old to do this, it's never too late. Whether you're 35 and you've lived this crazy life, it's never too late, dog. Take that first step. You know what I mean? And, and take that first step. And, and, and keep the momentum going. Take the second one, third one, and by the time you know it, dog, you hit a, a million steps, dog, and you're doing fucking great. The consistency, dog. Consistency. That's how you get and, 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 and as you get consistent doing good things, you surround yourself with good people. You All the bad shit starts leaving you by itself because the bad shit's like, oh, man, he on, he on something else. I ain't with that. And, and all that shit goes all by itself and just keep coming, man. Just keep going. The bad shit can't hang on that vibration, it dog. Can, that dog. That energy gets fizzled out, yeah, dog. And then you start yeah. going. And then when you find the winners, dog, and then yeah. the winners take you to more winners, exactly. dog. The exactly. networking. Exactly. I love it, dog. It's starting to make sense now. The networking. When I'm older, I always heard that word, networking, yeah. networking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like when you're doing when you're doing the right thing, dog. Like you said, when you're doing that God's work, dog, exactly. it puts you in the right place. And you're like, oh, how did I meet this? It's crazy. I met this guy, and I was just thinking about it. But it's yeah. like, yo, when you're doing when you're putting that energy into the world, dog. Exactly. Yeah, it's you crazy, put, man. put good out, and you'll get a good back to you, bro. The energy you put out is for sure the energy you get back. It is. I think Albert Einstein said, Einstein said that, dog. It is, dog. You know, I had a I had a conversation with John Gotti Jr., dog. I was I was fucking mesmerized. I was there wearing this uh, after some bare knuckle fights up in Daytona. Went to his house. It's a fucking mansion, and uh, John Gotti Jr. is there. And they introduced me, and, and it's a, like a circle of us, right? And he's there talking. He's got a cigar and a fucking drink in his hand. He's there talking that New York Gotti gangster accent, dog. No, you know what I mean? And he's talking about his dad, John Gotti, which is an icon in our time. He was one of the biggest, the biggest gangster in the world that yeah. died in our times. You know, in the nineties, he died in prison. Uh, and he's saying this story, and he's talking about this one time when he was in a cell, and, and he was uh. He was he was facing uh, multiple life sentences for some murders. He said he was going to bed and he looks at the time and at, at the time it was his dad's birthday, John Gotti's birthday. It was like ten twenty five or something like that. And he said he felt. Cause I told man, that's God talking to you, you know? Because I believe in God. That's my word for it. Well, mind you, that it was ten of us talking. By the time he got to the end of the story, I was the only one standing there. Everybody had dipped. I'm there standing, like looking at him, mesmerized. You know, listen to the story, dog. Cause I live like that. I live, my 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 life. My stories are so crazy that if you ask me to lie, you'll believe the lie before you believe the truth, dog. Cause it's been so crazy. So uh, I tell him, oh, so I told John Gotti Jr. Oh, that was God, bro. You know, he's like, 
I guess he, he's not really like a God person. So he's like, you know, you know what I call it? I call it energy. I go, call it whatever you want. You know, energy. But that was your dad's energy. Boom. The next day he beat his trial, went home. Dog went from facing multiple life sentences. Next day went to trial, beat it, went home. So back to the whole thing we're talking about, energy, dog. It, it, it's weird, but high vibration. When I do good and I'm doing good and I'm being a good dad and I'm, and I'm being a good husband and I'm being a good, you know, son to my mother. Life is going good, man. Life is going good. And and like anything else, dog, shit happens, my brother. It happened, baby. And, and fucking, you know, sh- sh- spray the shit off your shoe and keep walking, bro. That's your shoulder off, baby. That's it. You got to get up, dog. The, That's it. the harder the fall, the bigger the rise, you gotta, baby. You got to get up, dog. I love it, dog. Like, 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 like Rocky says, it ain't all ru- uh, sunshine and rainbows. It ain't sunshine. Yeah. It ain't about how hard you get hit. <laughs> it's about, it's about how, how you, you, how you can get up. How, yeah, it's about how you can get up, dog. Yeah, yeah. I, that's, hey, that Rocky, remember that Rocky speech? That was in part six. That yeah, was yeah, sleeper, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. a real Rocky fan, dog. Yeah, I'm yeah, one yeah. through six, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even five that gets love in my That was the last Rocky, remember. I like the five, dog. The street fight, a little different vibe, dog. I love all the Rockies, dog. Yo. All of them. Anyways, Willie, I really appreciate you coming out, man. I had a great time talking with you, dog. My brother, honor and a pleasure being here, It was a real dog. pleasure, man. Yeah. And uh, you got a fight coming up September 20... September 23rd. Not this Friday. I don't know when this is coming out, but September 23rd. Uh, it's a Friday, the Miami Airport Convention Center. DM me for tickets. And uh, nothing, bro. I'll be fighting for the rest of my life, dog. You know what I mean? Whether it's physically, mentally, in a in boardroom, entrepreneurship, whatever it is, we fighting, dog. Yo. Hey, until uh, uh, the wheels fall off, that's baby. It, baby. That's, that's, my, it. that's my saying, dog. Until the wheels fall off. I love, that's true. I was in Thailand fighting in the cage, we're, we're, dog. We're, we're, me, 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 and the honey badger are, are down like full flats on a Cadillac, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when I was in Thailand, I was in fucking in the cage fighting, and now I'm in America, dog. I'm on the stage, and I want to fight for free speech, it, dog. It, I want to say wild shit on that's stage. It, that's it. Do it, dog. You know what I'm saying? Do right it. Now, Next time you have right a show, now, I want to be Right now, freedom's under there. attack, dog. Like yeah. the way what we say and what we can't say, like Andrew Tate. So that's why I came back to America, yeah. dog. You it know, is, dog. to it fucking is. unite, dog. And look, I've been back for a year now, and I'm already, like you said, dog. The energy, the, yeah. the energy is going yeah, in the is. right places, it dog. Is, Got is. the new sign today. I love that. We had to bring out the big guns for you, I, dog. I love that. I love that, dog. <laughs> I ordered some. I got the nice mics with the things. Oh, do you? Okay, nice. But nice. I gotta put it together. It came nice. today. It was supposed nice. to come yesterday, dog. Nice. So nice. little by slowly, baby. Hey, you listen, know? dog. One day at a time, baby. Everything's coming out amazing. Hell yeah. Where can the people find you on Instagram uh, or social media? Yuli, U-L-Y underscore monster. That's my only social media. It's the only thing I use. Um, just hit me there. Yeah. And on YouTube, uh, it's Don't Blink Podcast. You can go to Don't Blink Podcast. Uh, you'll, you'll find Don't Blink. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll find Never Too Late on there. And you'll find this thing called One Road, which is uh, this little docuseries that we made leading up to fights. It's called One Road. I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna check that yeah. out. Oh, it's badass! You'll love it. It's like five minute little five shows, five minutes each. It's fucking amazing. The never too late was so good. Uh, mm-hmm. Somebody made that like so. My you, boy, you kind of so did fly. some acting, right? You yo that that one knock. You the guy then uh, you get like a little bit of acting, right? You had to like do some uh, like in the bed and. Sh- oh, I don't want to release that. Well, thing, well no, it's fine. It's fine. You can find it. Never too late on, on on Don't Blink podcast on YouTube. You can find Never Too Late under under there. Um, That's the whole film, right? On YouTube. Yeah, yeah. It's twelve. Okay, yeah, okay. 12, 12 minutes long. It's a short documentary. We've won. Best short documentary five times. We won the Miami Urban Film Festival. We won the Los Angeles Film Festival. We won Oklahoma Film Festival, Monaco, and the last one was uh, I forgot where the Latin Film Festival or something like that. That's uh, amazing. Yeah, no, it's been an honor. It's been amazing. It was my boy Guillermo Alfonso, aka Sofla. That's uh my boy. He's doing films now, and he's fucking. He's killing it, bro. He's killing it, man. We we hooked up. He's my boy for many years. So he's had content on me from the beginning of my fight career. And everything just worked itself out, bro. Energy, dog. It's timing. It's energy. It's good people getting with good people and making magic, dog. Straight up. It Straight sounds up. weird and stupid, but if you're not in there, you won't feel it, bro. You gotta be in that in that weird mix to feel the magic, dog. You gotta be. You gotta be in it to win it, dog. That's like it. When you're doing yeah. it, you gotta fake it till you make it, baby. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Honey Badger Hour, episode fifty. That was the Fuck big yeah. one. We're out. Let's go, baby. Don't blink, <laughs> my brother. Thank you, dog.